Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And today we have an exciting one. We'll be unboxing and playing Tony Yay. Montezuma's Goal <clears throat> on the Atari 8 bit woo. system. Woo! Yeah, woo! Um, it is by Monochrome Productions, uh, which consists of Vladimir Yankovic, a Pop Milo on code, Rafo Dudek, uh, concept and graphics, and Michal Bajitsky, uh, also known as Caruso, on sound. So hopefully what they've awesome. shipped me is not just Polish newspapers. It's actually a game. I've not opened it yet, so we'll see. Um, but before we get to opening that package, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers Woo! who are scrolling beside Tanya, down who help here, support the show here. and these cats. Down here. Al the Fragile Atari, I'm Scar Coder, Atari 974, Atari Age, Bartarius Maximus, <laughs> Beer Polka, Brutus Dykes, Captain Class, Charles Spunny Mal, Charles Will and Shitla, Sirene Reboot, Dean Noy, Dan C. Drexel, Dr. Moo Cows, Great Fender, Ground Trooper, It's Kev, JG, Johnny WC, Carl G. Karaka, Croc 2600, Velt for Lambert Express, Lord Ton, Mandy Sipati, Mark Yannis, Mark Spade, Zang, Ben Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Solomon, Mick Adel, Miss Command, and Miss the Loom, MK Smith. With Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Neo Media, Nostalgic, Patapolis, Patapolis, uh, Pseudograph is Coog, Our Intrudes, Rendered Ghost, Brentless VG, Revit, Tully, Ricardo, Pam, Six Sweet, Smitty B Spice, Where Spinley, 1970s, uh, S. Ramirez, 2008, Steve Z, Text Rich, The D Train, Tiki Dan Gate, Trek MD, Tweety Vex, Rx, BBG, Double Down, X, Can X, and Zombie Alice. And if you, yes, you out there, want to support the show and the cats, uh, you can hit subscribe on Twitch. It's free with Amazon Prime. Or you can just follow us so you know when we're on. Or you can, if you're watching on YouTube, hit subscribe as well. Yep. That's that's free. So you know when Lots we Lots of options. Upload a Lots new of options show. to yes. keep track of when we're on. So many options <clears throat> to watch this show. Dan, I almost demanded proof of life. Uh, he said, uh, there's no delays. Dan says that's because I didn't do a two-minute warning. And I thought immediately, yes. if Dan doesn't give a two-minute warning... I'm immediately concerned about you, Dan. Yes. What's happening? <laughs> Where's to Dan? Dan? Where's Dan? Is How is he? Dan doing? <laughs> is, has anyone heard from Dan in the last 24 hours? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but there, I'm glad you're yeah, here. He Thank you here. for joining. <laughs> yes. Um, so, uh, news. There was an update. I missed this on Tuesday's show. Uh, Trevor 7800 ROM Pro Pack. An update has been released. He packages all the Atari 7800 public games into one package that you can download. It's great for if you've just started collecting for the 20, uh, 7800 and you need some games to play. They're all there. There's so many games. There's demos. There's utilities. There's pff, everything you want. Mm -hmm. um, so he's updated uh, you know, retail, utilities, prototypes, homebrews, hacks, and demos. Um, so that is in the Atari Age forums, and there you go. Uh, can I just put chat? Oh, nice. I don't have to use keyboard. Um, so you can download that. Uh, what is next on my list? I think that's it for updates. So we have some packages to open. Let's see what the packages Woo! are. First off, it's 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 the Amazon present. It's the no. smile. <laughs> it's every Amazon day. Has, has given us a present today. Every day is Christmas with Amazon. Yes, it's the present you pay for yourself. That's right. <laughs> yes. Um, this one is not going to be visible on the show, but it is going to be oh, helpful yes. for the show. I think this is cool. I hope it works out. I really hope so too. Yeah. Um. This one's the easier one to do. Yeah. And I measured it out the other day, and it should work. Gamma Dev, you are one. absolutely right. Yes. Presents. presents for humans, boxes for kittens, oh. which they prefer to presents. They and do. most of their toys. Yeah. It's like yeah. box? Oh, I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> no matter what you get them, the box will be preferable. Yes. So what this is for, if it's what I think it is, which it seems to be, is something that I can uh, screw into the wall. And it will eliminate one of the things off the ground. And I wish mm. to eliminate all these things because mm -hmm. right now I have four lights pointing at us. Bright lights. Very bright lights. And a camera. And yep. all the tripods are on the floor taking up an annoying amount of space. So what this does is we'll get the camera off the floor. Mm -hmm. Screw the camera into that. Screw that into the wall. 
Uh, you can position this the camera 360 degrees and just position it into place. Yeah, that's perfect. And it's ready to go. And this, sh is, if I measured it correctly, should be enough off the wall, uh, hopefully. I I'm surprised it's not longer, actually. But... I know. I went for a shorter one because the longer ones are wow. looks flimsier and yeah. they're more expensive. Um, so I think it'll be okay. It should. You might work. have to take the small rig off. Uh, no, I measured it. It works. It, it will be the, fine with the rig. I don't okay. want to take that off. Um, it works very well with that. Okay, uh, it'll good. just good. be off the wall, which is fine. Which Sounds is fine. nice, except for the likelihood of hitting your head again. No, it won't be from the ceiling. It'll be on the wall, so yeah, it should be okay. Way far away. Way yeah. far away. It's it actually be okay. further away from us than it is now. Yeah, you're gonna have to adjust the um, the focus. <laughs> uh, yeah, focus and, and the and zoom. And the zoom. That's yeah. what I was actually, more we'll thinking. The zoom. Be able to take in more if you which, want. To. If I want, which. I don't usually. You can you can look at the, our printer that sits right here. <laughs> oh, it's exciting, that printer. Yeah. Nobody wants to see that. No. Okay. <laughs> Printers uh, are so exciting. Ooh, uh, it's oh, another addresses. present. Addresses all over. Okay, so don't I show the addresses. I'm going to open this off camera. Ooh, a chin-up bar. Sid, yeah, exactly. <laughs> chin-up bar for Sid, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, so this is funny. from the UK. He's been he's been murdering my my uh, house plants too. He's been chewing the lettuce. Oh, he's been chewing lot. the leaves on my plants. I've had yeah. to like put them high up, and I hope it's not a permanent quirk of Sid's because it's very dangerous with cats eating plants. Because plants are often we've picked ones that toxic are toxic or dangerous. will make them sick at least. So yeah, our plants are okay, but yeah. so a big long list of items. Yeah. Um, and I will get my phone out to remember what exactly all of these oh, are. Oh, that's a lot of items. Canada Post, not Royal Mail. Uh, Royal Mail to Canada Post. Uh, yes, but we don't call it Royal Mail. No, yeah, it's we've Canada dropped Post. that. Yeah. Was it ever called Royal Mail? I don't Maybe think so. Way I don't back think so. I think it's always been in the seventeen hundreds. Well, no, not the seventeen hundreds. What did you? What was exist? it called back then? The seventeen hundreds is a long time ago. First when in Canada was before Canada. Ninety two? Like <laughs> yeah. what are you talking when about? When there was only the Hudson's Bay Company. I, I, I don't it? think Canada, Canada Post would have existed back then. Um so there are <laughs> that's, that, I don't know no. how old it is. No, that seems too old. Uh, a <laughs> pair of foam pads for the most of this stuff is for this. Let me just show you what it's mostly for. So you can get an idea. It is for my new ZX Spectrum plus one twenty eight. Um, it's fully functional, but it needs some upgrades to take it from good to great. Mm. Um, so in this package, there are uh, there's a recap kit mm. to in case I don't necessarily need this because it does work, but it might clean up some stuff. I'll do everything else first. Um, some foam pads for the legs on the back. Um, some what is the what are these? Oh, and I also bought some uh, Commodore 64 heat sinks for the Commodore 64 that I have with some also some uh, heat sink hey. plaster, they've Hi. called it. Um, a resistor, a 1.65K resistor to balance out the beeper and the Yamaha sound chip because out of the box, the beeper is like three times as loud mm -hmm. as the normal sound chip and it goes beep. Uh, a diagnostic EEPROM in case there's anything wrong. So uh, this just boots right into the EEPROM. Uh, you don't have to boot a cartridge or anything and it'll do a bunch of testing. Um, a five volt regulator mm. to reduce the amount of heat that is outputted, which is what the toast rack is actually for. That's a massive, big heat sink on the side. Mm. It's not for decoration, even though it looks awesome. Uh, a 128 gal chip um, that you replace the PAL chip, and it removes an error on some games that looks like it's raining pixels on the screen. Gotcha. Uh, and a capacitor pack. 
what is this for a bunch of capacitors <laughs> yeah for doing other things so and you're gonna live stream all of your upgrades right that would be embarrassing <laughs> people would be like you're doing it wrong you're doing it wrong you're doing it wrong that's the fun part <laughs> yeah oh that's terrible soldering all all the all the um comments from the peanut gallery yeah yeah your soldering sucks <laughs> yep that's exactly every statement that would be in the live chat your soldering is the worst oh no, 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 no. uh so we have one more package to open and it should be the main event <laughs> Let's see. BBG's i can show funny. you this side uh, uh Oh, Vitoko, I've today sir, replace, I've received a replacement for a screen for an LG phone and I broke it while installing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, That's no. Ter an actual screen screen, not oh, a no. not a screen protector. Phones are very very small and fiddly very though. Delicate. Yeah, they're very delicate. Uh it's hard to imagine spectrum generating significant heat, but I used to sit with a vac server in my office. Mm. All the necessary accessories for the ZX Spectrum. Z ZX Z -X Spectrum. British. <laughs> British, pronounce it the correct way. If it was a, uh, a a computer from the U.S., I would pronounce it ZX Spectrum. Z. Oh, but since it's Z double yeah. Z, going from the U.K. to Canada, it's double Z. It doubles, <laughs> double ZX Spectrum. Z Z Spectrum. Z Z X Spectrum. So this is from Poland. All That's, the way from Poland. That is quite a trip. It is quite a trip. No, it's not destroy anything there we go. so it took a little while a lot of other people got this before me but we're gonna unbox it live we're gonna play it live not too many uh shows do live streams of atari games mm. a lot of them do five minute gameplays <laughs> Uh, we do it live. We do long shows and long gameplays, so and that's do you wanna, what Do you want to switch to the cat cam to when you when you unbox it? Definitely. Okay. So I'm just gonna get this off of, okay. and I actually set up a tripod over there Ooh. to do that specific thing. Fancy. And I think it's time now that I've got my address off to switch over the cat cam. A little cat cam. The tripod. Oh, oh, Sid is very interested. Well, start being uninterested, Sid, because you're a bad cat. He's like, Can I eat it? Can no. I chew the cords? You can, but you may not. Oh. Is you're it? able to, but I do not want you to. Mm -hmm. Good evening, Pseudographics. Good evening, welcome. Ha happy Friday. Pseudographics had a hand in this game. Oh, very nice. Yes. Very nice. So. See how far I can go. Oh, I can go really far. So let's see. All right, shall we put a Sid? Here, let's put a Sid there. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, so let's move this. Oh. Put it right around here, I think. Look at my pasty white legs. There's a the Sid. Can you see the Sid? There's oh, the Sid. Sid. He's going to be all over this. Oh, so. sweet Sid. There he is. Let's unbox this. Oh, he's very, very. You might have to corral this cat. No. It looks like it was well packaged. Yes, it was. That's good. Yep. It's Make good sure to see the bubble wrap. Else in here. Good. Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. Where you are. <laughs> yeah. Saturday in Europe and Australia. Oh. Early morning Australia, late night in Europe. That there makes we sense. Go. Hmm. This game came from here. Ooh, ooh, Sid's very excited. There's Tony. I do Kidding. think he wants to play with the bubble wrap, but still, look at that. There. What a beautiful that. box. Look at that Absolutely packaging. Absolutely gorgeous <gasps> box. Gold. Is that gold? Is that actual gold on the front? It's actual gold. Is it shiny? Oh no, it looked shiny for a second. Oh, it was no. the reflection. I thought there was like 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 um metallic gold on the front. It looks fantastic very nice collector's edition montezuma's gold look at that so this is the one with the um cartridge and usb wow. you can get it with just the cartridge just the usb or the cartridge and usb very we'll nice. take a look at that in a bit uh so let's see if i can open this up without destroying it yes i can
Very nice box. Won't let the cats at it. He's preoccupied with the bubble wrap at the moment, which is good. Seal of quality there. Retronics, who is the uh, distributor of this game. So there is the front of it. Retronics, you can see there. Pseudographic says you can also buy just the digital download, which yes, is fantastic too. If well. you don't want the accoutrements of, you know, the cartridge and everything that comes with it, that box is fantastic. Greetings, the digital The matte Explorer. black and the slight, the shine on, it's like raised graphics on the front. You yes. can see the shine. This is actually That is raised. beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful yeah, box. It, it looks really, really nice the way the way it's been done. I love that that mix of textures. So like I'm very, very impressed. That's that's really up. nice looking. And I do want to thank the team at Tony Montezuma's Gold because they sent this to me mm. free of charge. Oh, to really? Show thank on the you. show. So thank you so <laughs> thank much. Thank you so much. Uh, you don't know. You don't break it, do you? Now there I'm is not going to touch it. Cause, a way to yeah. open this, and usually you put a knife under it. Do you have a Do you have a, a letter opener? No, I do not. Can I do have a, a letter knife? opener. I have a set of scissors that might work. Okay. Ooh, ah, ooh, really? And okay. I just have to do it the opposite way. Oh, that hurts! Don't don't hurt it. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Nothing good. Nothing good. Scissors aren't working. Um, hey, Carl G. Just, just be very gentle. You need a letter opener. Yeah. Uh, letter openers also have an edge. Oh, got a cat. A cat, are you going to help open it? He's like, I will tear it to shreds with my little claws. I will bite it. Oh, my goodness. Can't open it? What about the bottom? I uh, just tried the bottom. Oh, no. I can try, but my nails are a little rough right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's because it grabs and it's supposed to the little tab on the bottom so it doesn't doesn't so it doesn't just open but at the same time it makes it hard to open mm -hmm. and they're all like this can i try no <laughs> make sure my hands have no can moisture you grab a on knife? them i can get a like a butter just knife a butter knife please yeah, yeah. Well, I'll read out the back. Okay. Wild jungle, swall, uh, sprawling swamps, the majestic castle of King Montezuma, terrifying catacombs, and the dangerous and mysterious pyramid hiding the ruler's treasure. Greetings, digital explorer. Embark on a pixelated journey inspired by Tony Halleck, the real-life Polish explorer and filmmaker whose adventures spanned continents and decades he was exploring ancient civilizations for nbc tony's love for discovery knew no bounds now it's your turn to step into tony's digital shoes and uncover the mysterious treasures of montezuma's pyramid in this nostalgic homage to the style of 8-bit retro computers to the like uh, tributes to the legacy of tony halleck for inspiring this pixel quest for those of you you who remember the days of 8-bit adventures, we hope this bring back fond memories. The, to newcomers, welcome to a legendary era of gaming. Requirements, Atari, 8X, Atari XLXE 64K. Free lifetime updates. Excellent. Digital updates. I'm not going to ship you a cartridge. Oh, time. you've got a nice view of... Uh, oh, that's nice. Well, you... Of a Sid on bubble wrap. Apparently he's a fan of bubble wrap. Oh, who good. knew? Yes, he has. He has. <laughs> Who knew he was a bubble wrap fan? And he's sitting on it. He's enjoying it. Yeah. This is not helping whatsoever. No. Do you want me to try? No. Oh, it worked. There we go. <gasps> Ooh. One side up. Whew. We're not going to have to just end the show right now because he can't, get into, the... <laughs> he can't get into the cartridge. All not right. destroyed. I'm going to keep that knife down here because okay. I do open games from time to time. Do you want to put that... Uh... Back looking. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Back on the... Um... And we'll actually the very scratched up legs. Actually, raise it up a bit now. Okay. Yeah, the cat has destroyed my legs, so I apologize <clears throat> for my destroyed legs. But that's what happens when you get a kitten, mm -hmm. and they like launching themselves off of you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Come 
always put a zero page homebrew below on top there. No. No? Okay. okay. Okay, now we can actually open it up. Maybe. Oh my goodness. Tightly packed. Oh. Oh my goodness. There we go. Set that aside. It's beautiful fancy. cover. Look at that box. That is that is good quality cardboard box. right there. Yeah. That's good quality cardboard. Let's open it upside down. Or not. There we go. Woo. So let's take a look at what is inside here. So we have an instruction manual. Very beautiful and glossy. And there is the credits. Greetings, Digital Explorer. And I'll be reading these out and the comic as well. There is a comic in the game, mm -hmm. but this is like an extended version of the comic. Some screenshots, um, <laughs> points, manual. Throw that directly in the trash. <laughs> Who needs manuals? No. Oh, there I love go. them. Look at that. <gasps> wow. You don't get these anymore with modern games. You get a tiny piece of paper. Oh. Yeah. And that's it. Or um, we recently got a... Um, oh, look at that. This is the uh, thumb drive with the game on it. And, like, is that etched into it or it printed on it? It is actually etched into wow. it. Wow. It's wood. Like a USB or it's meant to... It looks like plastic to me, but it looks like wood. It. Let's find out, actually. <gasps> hey, Crunchy the Clown. Thank you for joining. Look at that. How fancy is that? It's wood. <laughs> it it's is wood. Actual wood. Oh my goodness! That I want all my gorgeous. USB sticks to be be wood from now on. With your name on them. Yeah, engraved. Oh, yeah. No kittens. Yeah. No. No. I will not accept anything less than that. <laughs> it's it's absolutely gorgeous. So you can uh, use this with an emulator wow. or use it on your subcart or whatever you have. Uh, there's the manual again. Let's see what else we have. We have a st huge sticker that was not cut correctly, but a beautiful, beautiful <laughs> sticker. Oh, no, it got cut off on the end. Yeah, yeah, but that is a nice sticker. Gorgeous sticker. Wow, look at that. Retronics on it and Tony Montezuma's gold. It's a beautiful sticker. And you also get a newspaper as well. Mm. Let's just move back a bit so you can see this newspaper. All I saw was cashews 33 cents. That sounds fantastic to me. <laughs> yeah, cashews have gone up a little bit since. Oh, ever so slightly. This explorer. Yeah. Explore the world. Yeah, look at that. Innovative car navigation system. Mythical treasure of the Aztec king found. Special cashews. 33 cents a pound. Wow, that's cheap. <laughs> I like VVG. And that's the rare cutting error sticker worth 5000 oh, in the future. Oh, that's right. Very, very and cool. And even the it back is, cool. is stained. I know. There I know. There's huge There's so much beautiful detail. detail in all the items that come with this. It's amazing. So this is from wow. uh, Washington, Saturday, July 9th, 1938. Uh, mm. Three cents for the newspaper. Uh, the year circulation. No, nope, not circulation. <laughs> Number 22,667, Washington News. Very, very nice addition. So I will read those out. Hey, what are you doing? Come Doing up here. That. And here we go, the main event. <gasps> Look at that. Let's zoom in a bit. The cartridge. He's peeling off the adhesive. Off the back of the bag. There we go. And now here comes the cartridge. Look at that. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Very nice. Very nice. Focus. Very nice cartridge. Is this mm -hmm. see-through? No. The one they posted online looked like it was... A little see-through? Yeah, No, little that see -through. doesn't look transparent at all, but... 
Very, Very nice. nice. Oh, VVG wants to know what the retail price of the game package so is. So we will get to that in a second. Okay. So I'll leave, <laughs> I'll leave this out so we can um, plug it in. But we will be playing off of an updated digital version of the game. Um, but we will plug this in just to Bitoko make sure asks it if it's injected plastic. It looks it 3D is. printed, but... Um, ooh, I thought is, 3D printing based on the not. back, but is it injected? It's it it's injected. 3D. Yeah? No, yeah. This is very smooth. Okay. Either they have an excellent 3D printer. like Oh, no, that's true. Really yeah. Really good 3D printer. Yeah, look, you're look right. You're right. You're right. No, this is yeah. injection molded. Look at that. Very it's nice. Very, very nice. So mm -hmm. and it's got the gravity oh, side. Pseudo graphics. These very are injected, nice. made by Sikor, if I'm not mistaken. Ah. Nice. So Sikor has done a lot of um, European. Pseudo graphics releases. was involved in it. They would know. So yeah. there you go. Could yeah. be a resin printer. Yeah. Could oh, be, but I it's injection mode. Really so on a 3D printer. <laughs> I don't so know what I would make with it. But. Move this back to where it needs to be and we will start learning about the game before we play it yep 3d printers can be fun can be very fun mm -hmm. you can prototype things you can make molds but mm, not really because then you have the lines in the molds right mm. <laughs> no wonder who's giving me a little sass. Yeah. There we go. Out of the way. Sorry, baby. This is Sid, for those who haven't met him. <laughs> I'm sure you all have by now. He's very sleepy. There we go. Move the tripod out of the way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's learn about the game. Yeah, Pseudographics did some uh, music fixes um, for the game. There's some um, odd notes in there that were fixed by him. Okay, so let's learn about who this is based on. Tony Halleck uh, was a Polish film operator, documentary filmmaker, cool. author of travel books, uh, Traveler, Explorer, and Polyglot. Speaking Spanish, English, French, Portuguese, Italian, German, Guanari, South American, Guarani, Gu Guarani, Guarani, uh, South Paraguayan. American, Paraguayan. Oh, okay. Oh. And right. Zavante, which is Zavante people in Brazil. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's Born in a, Poland. Very impressive. Uh, during World War Two, he was forcibly drafted into uh, the. Uh, German army and served in France uh, and he deserted and joined the Red French Resistance uh, and was awarded the French Croix de Guerre Croix de Guerre Croix de Guerre um, then he moved to Argentina and then he worked as a correspondent for Life and NBC Wow um, So this is based off of his his it, it, it's travels in a way Inspired by him Inspired by yes. him Oh, that's really um, cool. And then for 20 years, he, he created over 400 documentary films, wrote 13 books, and many press articles. He lived from 1921 to 1998. Wow. Okay. Wow. So he was like Indiana Jones. Yeah, it sounds like <laughs> And it even fought had, in World War II. Had a like lot Indiana of... Jones. Look at this cat. I just have to say... Um, Very cute. He has smushed his face into my arm and has fallen asleep. So uh, this is disturbed Sorry. by... <laughs> Disturbed by Retronics, and if you go to the Atari XL XE, there's three different versions of the game. Mm. There's the cartridge, there's a cartridge and pen drive, which is the one we showed, and just the pen drive. So if we go to the one with the cartridge and the pen drive, uh, this is 189 Polish monies. <laughs> um, <laughs> translate that into your local currency. Yeah. Uh, the one with the cartridge is 169 mm. Polish monies. And the one with the pen drive is 129 Polish Zlati. monies. Polish Zlati? Zlati? Does that Zlati? sound right? 
Yeah, I've seen that word before. I have yeah. too. <laughs> um, I like Polish monies better. Polish monies. Polish monies. Canadian monies, U.S. Canadian monies. monies. Yes. Um, the package, big box, contains a cartridge, comic book, instructions, and poster gaze. Hmm. Oh, this is translated, so it's translating from Polish to English. Uh, or is it? Polish to English, yep. Uh, a great new game for the Atari XLXE. Great high-res graphics, brilliant playability, and a lot of surprises during the game. Entertainment at the highest level. Version, version on the cartridge fits all XLXEs. So you can get this in the box form that we just showed through Retronics. There's Nostalgic. He's done the translation. Oh, it's 48, 48 USD. USD. There you go. Not That's bad at all. Not bad. Not bad at all. No. Um, and Plus, I'm assuming shipping. There'd be shipping, yeah. 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 Um, or... Another option is to buy just the digital, but you don't get all the very nice wooden. Yeah. Uh, the wooden USB drive. drives. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you can uh, buy this from, actually, I'll start posting these in the chat for people in case they want it. Um, you can also get it digitally if you want, if you don't want all the fanciness for $9.99 USD. That's a good deal. I think that's a very good deal. That is a very good deal. $10 yeah. for it. Yeah. Um, and it also has links as well to the um, physical. And yeah, you can get it on uh, itch.io. Very nice. If you want. And you can also download the demo for free, which has the first level, I Excellent. believe, which we played on the show. Yes, we did. Previously. Yes. Um, okay, continuing on with our descriptors of what it is. So, uh, this game actually has already won an award at, uh, it got first place and in the retro roots category at the AMD pixel awards, Europe, 2024. Um, and you can see the uh, website here, AMD pixel awards, Europe. And this was in June, I believe June 7th. There it is. Tony Montezuma's Gold from Monochrome Productions. And there's all the other winners as well. If you scroll down, it didn't load everything. Let's reload. Has to make sure I'm not a bot. <laughs> I'm not a robot. I am not a robot. I can pick bridges and bicycles <laughs> like you can't believe. Uh, he is 100% crashed it on my arm. He has mashed his face into my elbow. Oh, let's go full screen with that cat. <laughs> oh, he's so adorable. He's mashed his face into my elbow. Bundle of fluff. He's getting a little heavy, but I cannot move. Nope. Bound by and law And he's incredibly hot. <laughs> he's like radiating heat. So retro, oh. it went up against uh, Bzzz and Holston, and it won against those two for the retro roots category. Nice. Yeah, it's like it Eurovision won. for geeks. Yeah, it yeah. won. Um, retro roots. Very yeah. So nice. congratulations on that one. Um, so there are. This game is available for the Atari Eight Bit. Mm. Uh, the Commodore 64 and Amiga Ooh. right Ooh. now. Very nice. Those three platforms are ready and you can buy awesome. them. Awesome. Obviously, we're going to play the Atari 8 bit because we uh, play Haven't. Atari yeah. <laughs> on this show and we have an Atari cat. Look how close they are. That's so cute. I know because he's asleep. So Atari's like, oh, he's asleep. Thank goodness. And they have posted yeah. Yeah. pictures of the Jaguar version. Nothing in. Um, Nothing in motion yet, but here it is in color. Oh when, my goodness. All the other versions right now are in monochrome. Mm. High res monochrome graphics, but Jaguar is going to be in color. Now, I wonder who might be working on this game. Wow, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. I believe this is the first level they're showing here right wow. now so far. So that's going to be awesome. And we'll definitely be playing that on the show because it's yeah, Atari. Level one, yeah. Um, and also, they have already posted the ZX Spectrum version of it. Oh. Uh, and we can also play that as well, possibly. Possibly in the future. Uh, because now we have a ZX Spectrum. Oh, he's awake. So they posted a video of the ZX Spectrum. So let's take a look. Is Rebo Reboot working on the Jaguar version? It seems like they're everywhere. We shall see. Yeah. I don't think anything's been posted, so I can't say anything. Oh, oh. Heavy cat. <laughs> he is a heavy cat. Well, not really, but when you're holding him up like this. 
So this is the ZX Spectrum version of it. At least what they are showing so far. And we'll be seeing some of this when we boot it up. Um, so actually, let's get to the gameplay. Oh, and actually... Oh, this must have been maybe shown at mm. Pixel Heaven? Oh, so one month ago. Yeah, that's about right. So this must have been a preview at... Um, so let's go to the actual game screens. They don't show any gameplay, but they show the game screens what it looks like. And it's in um, monochrome as well. And uh, ZX Spectrum does very well in um, high-res graphics. So it's... Um, and they had been planning to do a ZX Spectrum version of the game right from the beginning. Mm. Um, before they had even the C64 planned, the Amiga... Because they first started planning the Atari version first. And, and this game is NTSC friendly as well on the Atari 8 -bit. It is. There's a PAL and NTSC. I don't think it's different cartridges. It's I think it's the same cartridge. So it would just detect it might and auto run? Sense. Yeah. Uh, I can't speak to you that. I want to double check that. Yeah, you definitely need to double check that. But it is available in PAL and NTSC. You might mm. have to pick when you buy it. Okay, so there's a bunch of screens. I'm not going to look at all of them. Oh. <laughs> so it is coming on the ZX Spectrum, which is great because it, it looks uh, fantastic for that. And they just, just announced uh, that there is going to be a game called... Let's see, I'm just... Oh, not just announced, but July 11th. Um fairly recently a game called tony go mm. uh, it says time to rest because uh, this is shortly after the release i'll be arranging tony go mini game on vacation so google game dinosaur so much of tony riding the wagon with scroll that was translated mm. so you can see uh he's riding a wagon he probably has to jump and duck over things mm. um and they have there's a little animation he's gonna play Maybe. There you go. A little cute. animation. So cute. The Jumping hat over the pops track. up too. Nice. Yeah, oh pop of the hat. Very nice. Very, very nice. I like super, that. Super, super cool. Cute. Um there we go. There's some color. I don't know if they're going to use color for this, but somebody made a color mm. background version of it. Tony Go with a friend. Coder spruced up the graphics with colors a bit. Mm. But the thing below makes me think that maybe they won't go for color because they want to keep it in line with the original game. It says mm. every coder does what he wants, but you have to stick to the concept, which I clearly conveyed to everyone. Any modifications are welcome. Mm. That seems ambiguous, but it was translated mm. as well. So they might be wanting to stick to the monochrome graphics for the um, Atari 8-bit version of that Tony Go uh, game um, and I think we are ready to go to play it ZX Spectrum makes sense since there are quite a few Soviet clones of it back in the day I wonder how they cope with the ZX only being 250 256 pixels wide while other platforms are 320 mmm that is an interesting question they may have to scale down the graphics a bit or chop some off the ends and move and rearrange some things. Not sure. I haven't read anything about how they are readjusting. Um, yeah, I think we can pop it in. Mm -hmm. So let's get our cartridge version. Not sure what version this is on the cartridge because mm -hmm. they're constantly updating it. Uh, the download version is going to be the most up-to-date version. Mm. And I have the most up-to-date downloaded version. And okay. there's no versioning numbers on this, on so that. I can't guarantee this is the newest one. But it doesn't really matter what version you have on cartridge because... It's a completed they're game. Just it's a completed game, yeah. and the fixes are not game-breaking. No. Um, they're just quality-of-life fixes. Mm -hmm. So, let's turn this off. Pop out my sub cart... 
Ooh, put it in. Yep. Oh. I don't put in cartridges very often. Trouble. Probably because there's fluff on it. No. Nope. There we, there go. we go. That oh. sounded good. <laughs> yeah, usually you just leave in the sub ABG cart. Okay. Hopefully the volume is okay. Ready? Lock up. No, nope, nobody's locked up. Thank goodness. So. Oh, no. It's fine. Go. Monochrome, monochrome Productions. Very nice. Tony Montezuma's Gold. And there are the credits at the bottom. Tony, are you going to sleep all day? Your, your coffee. coffee. I hope you are rested before the new trip, Margaret asked flirtatiously. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, oh, boy. You're too slow. We're not going to be able yes, to read Tony, it. <laughs> there's no time to rest. Other newspapers are sending the reporters, too. We must have the material first. Ah. Steve, I came back from Mesoamerica yesterday. Should I fly to Ameri Mexico again? You're the best, Tony. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You'll have to read it in the, in the, in the manual. <laughs> That's right. You'll have to pause it to read it. It's going nuts. Yeah. And there's some who's flying. Beautiful. It looks to beautiful. The, Look at it. To the Aztec pyramids. Yay. Oh, there's no sound because of reasons. Because of my setup. Oh, your setup won't allow sound? Uh, it does, but not this way because my sound is routed through the sub AV AVG card. Oh. But we won't be playing it on that, so it's okay. Okay. I just wanted we'll to show, show. We'll show the card. That the and cartridge then play it. works. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. And it does, so we will be switching over now. Hello, what are you expecting, huh? Everything. Treats? Are you expecting treats? Not right now. Not right now. Okay, kittens. I'm just gonna disturb you slightly for a tiny bit. Here you go. Oh, so now stretchy. we will hear the music. The very awesome music, in fact. Brought to you by Monochrome Productions. This game is a tribute to the legendary Tony Halleck, who is a Polish traveler and explorer. Collect potions and keys. Use keys to open doors. Use potions against enemies. Find secret masks to progress. Collect jewels to be awarded. Press option key to choose music or sound. Visit the concept and graph. Code. Of testing. Stereo, then it would be broadcast in the stereo, and it is not. Both the levels seem to be at the same level, so it is not. So, um. Oh, there's no music journey. Oh, there's music and stuff. So, that's perfect. So, I'm gonna explain to you. You have a key right now, and you just got a potion, and potions kind of give you a freebie in case you touch them. There's spikes <gasps> come out of the ground. Oh, oh no! You'll learn. <laughs> Take the time with the spikes. Oh, goodness, I'm not very good. Now, the potions don't protect you from spikes. They protect you from the uh, enemies. Thank you all very much. Cuteness level is high. Yes, yeah, super cute. Okay, so. Falling items are useful 
during your journey. The potion cures Tony after he being attacked by nasties. Now, I also have to tell you that you will have to use the potions once in a while. Okay. Because you do need, you only have four slots. So how do I life. use the potions? You just touch it. Oh, help. I see. And it'll help. 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 Something's wrong with the ZPH stream. Who? What? What's wrong, Nostalgic? What is wrong with you? Hard to hear you over game audio. Oh, oh. So game audio is drowning you out. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, because we're not as loud as we are. Crank it up. There we go. Ch test, 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 test. Check, 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 check. That so should be better. Is that a coin there? What is that? Can I get that? Oh, yes. Those are... That is the goal. That is a oh. uh, nugget. 200 points. You definitely want to get those. Um, there's also things that kind of look like that, and it is a, a mask that will open the door to the level. <laughs> so keys open doors. And you do have... Oh, you had a key, so you must have yeah, used I it. Yeah, I used it. Um. Nope. Almost. Oh, sorry. Yep. <laughs> now you have to turn your master level. Matt, the volumes were a little bit out of whack. Let me just turn it down just a little bit. Chest, test, 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 test. I think we're good now. Oh, I see. <laughs> Chitlala has auto gain on audio output. Oh. I did that purposely. Ah, because you do need an open slot to get that. There you go. So you have three potions and you have a key. And you've lost two lives so far. Have I? Yep. I thought I... Oh, yes, I did. I did very early on, yeah. When I was figuring stuff out. Now, we do have maps. Which is... So far, it's been... Pretty much on rails, Pretty I have to linear. say. We didn't go past that bug at the top. Was there the a bug spider. Past her? Oh, yeah, true. So you might want to do that first. Okay. Lots of dangers. Now, another thing in this game is you can change... <gasps> oh, how pretty. The color. I like purple. Nope. There we go. <laughs> that works. Hmm. So there's not much instructions. <laughs> That's it. Just, just, you know. Just cures potions, opens doors, kills, kills the bugs. Are the volumes all good now? Check, check, check. This looks amazing. I wonder if it's graphic zero with actual players missiles or if it's graphic eight and using software sprites. Now I tried to find information on that, but I am no oh, you're full. Mm -hmm. But you can get it later on your way back. He I did read that there are player missile graphics for some things. I think the floating skull creatures are used are made with player missile graphics. Ugh. Oh well. I needed the spot anyway. I don't think I can get don't up there. I don't think you can. You can get no. down, but not. Probably comes from the other side. That's fine. Thank you, ITC. Ugh. You do have to hit the, the diagonals. Very precisely. Diagonals? Or yeah. the... Diagonals. You're, you jump with the diagonal. Really? That's just left and right and button. No. Lies. It's not left... Well, I don't know. Maybe it is left, but... Oh, no! Oh, double death! <laughs> oh, heck. Okay, I have to watch for those That's a death. Little... Hitting hitting the thing is the um, potion. Uh, so it's not a double death. I, no. I used up a potion and then, and then I died. died. Yeah. yeah. Skulls are certainly software sprites. Pseudographic says the PMG cannot be displayed. Oh, that was close in high-res pixels. Mm. Oof. Oof. Double crunchy doors. Oh, 
am. I usually have to go oh. over them. So let's go through the timeline for this game. So September 18th, 2022, the first screenshots were posted of the game. October 7th, 2022, oh. the Facebook page for this game started. Uh, October 14th, 2022, the first thread on Atari Age started. October 21st, the video teaser for Tony was posted. Uh, November 24th, 2022. Um, now, I do have a cheat code, which we are going to use. Okay. Um, so. So that we can start where we ended? No. Oh, for more lives? Infinite lives. Oh, you want in? Oh, that is cheaty. Because I do want to see the game, and we're not that good. Oh. <laughs> I did. It's not that hard. I uh, mean, so far. Well, you died on level one, oh. and you just died on the first thing. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh. For some reason, that's the hardest thing of all. It's timing it to that. Oh. No, I'm you just can't stand on there that long. No, I guess I have infinite lives, so it doesn't matter. November 24th, 2022, the thread on AtariOnline.pl started. Then March 29th, 2023, it was announced that unfortunately work on the uh, game engine stopped eight months prior due to lack of time by the coder. Oh, come on. Then August 6th, 2023, Pop Milo started showing an interest in coding for the game. Then on November 22nd, 2023, first mention of Pop Milo was working on the game. Um, and then February 5th, 2024, Pop Milo starts an official thread on Atari Age with posting the demo, which we played um, about a week later. Um, then May 19th, 2024, pre-orders for the game through Retronic started. Then June 7th, 2024, the first boxed games were sold at Pixel Heaven 2024 in Warsaw, Poland. And the game won for re Retro Roots at the same event. Crushing walls are moving in large steps, about eight pixels each. That points towards graphic zero and custom character tiles, or maybe that's just for faster movement. Well, if you look at it and see if there are two frames of animation, if there's only one frame of animation when it's going down at eight pixels per, then it's for faster movement. Uh, because there's not enough time to do it. But if it's like staying for two frames or more, then it's just because it's, they want it to be chunky. Or it's in a s specific um, <laughs> graphics format. Love the effect when the skulls go over the um, shaded area at the top. Looks really good. Yeah, you have to... You definitely want to do the diagonal instead of the yeah. left and right because you move. So if okay. you hit the diagonal, you don't move. If you hit the left and right, you do. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe oh. it's four-way, but it seems the diagonal is more precise. Maybe. So Cheaters never win. Yeah, but cheaters get to see all those screens on the game. But then we can play it without cheating. Oof. Oh, so hard. <laughs> okay. So there's an interview with uh, two of the developers that was posted February 5th, 2024. This was the day the demo was released. So the game hadn't... Are you not going that way? No. <laughs> no, because there? there's... There's definitely something on this side. Oof. So, uh, first of all, there's Pop Milo. Oh, damn it. I always forget to check if there's sticky th things coming up. Oh. Pop Milo says, I'm trying to code retro games as best I can. Oh. 
The coding of the game Tony was like getting some fresh air for me because creating a game based on single screens with monochrome graphics is triggering. You do not need to use any tricks. Think about how many colors can be displayed in a scan line or in a single character, what limits in the width of the sprites are like, and the only limitations are available, memory and processor speed. This was an interview with AtariOnline.pl. <gasps> oh God, I did it again. You have to wait. Russian. You always have to wait. Got to see what's on the screen first. It's like VH said C games too. Yep, don't rush into it. Uh, in the code oh. of the game, I use the method chasing the raster beam used mainly on ZX Spectrum so that without the use of double caching the image because there's no more memory for it. Avoid the flashing of the image. The whole game works on the Atari oh, with no. 64K of RAM, occupies almost every free byte. Since Atari does not have 256 characters in the character set, like the Tony version on the C64, I had to use bitmap mode, which takes up almost 8K of screen itself. 8K per screen itself. <laughs> the same with the sprites. Spirits. For any horizontal soul, like Tony, Bats, etc., I had to use the tab tables with every possible byte value shifted in multiple horizontal positions. Oh. Oh, wow. In addition, they were masking uh, the sprites, vertical movement, and the priorities of sprites, etc. On the other hand, because everything was done by software, it was easy to modify the data. And this means that encoding the other four levels of the game should not take as much time and effort. I hope that Atari Tony lovers will like it and will play it for many years. So that uh, answers your question. This is done in bitmap mode using 8K for the screen. Um, and all the graphics had to be shifted in eight positions each. It's too easy with unlimited lives. Well, it's like, it just, I don't know. I know you want to see all the levels, but, oh, there's the other one. Yeah, I got that before. Oh. Level two. I don't want to be in level two yet. Can well, get all too stuff? late. Well, not getting the high all right. score. I guess that Our was score level two. Score is twenty six hundred. Oh, no, I'm, I'm limited lives hardly. Uh oh. Cool. Whoa. Maybe just just barely go on the screen. The music changes. It does. Crunchy the Clown says, I always like hearing about how the game was made. Me too. That's why I love interviewing uh, developers. Gives you some... Ugh. Oh, that's a tough one. Yeah, I'm not sure what the best option is for that. Ooh, different ones. Different spikes. So now it explains Ugh. why things move in chunks. So they didn't have to um, create multiple versions uh, of movement. But Tony and the bats and the skulls have like eight different copies of themselves. And he must, he might have timed it up so the bat wing movements time up with different positions. Oh. Into the spikes. No, it's hard I, to tell that's No, spikes. no, it's not spikes. Oh, was it the bat? I was hit by the bat because I hit the, 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 the oh, platform. I didn't realize I the platform was there. I had to jump to it. Chasing the beam is an expression from the Atari 2600. It did not have much memory for the graphics, so all such things were drawn with the assembler code. The instruction inserted something on the screen. The electron beam drew the image on the screen. For Tony and most ZX Spectrum uh, games, this means that I'm waiting for the... I think that translated wrong. Ritizer bundle to cut a specific position. Mm, that didn't translate well. Tony's uh, feet... Tony's soul's feet. Then I started to erase the old position, drawing the background in its place. Then draw Tony's soul in the new position. Soul, that's funny. I like that. Spirit, sprite. I think it's translating sprite to soul. I, I, yeah. Yes. So where do I go from here? Uh, well, you can, you can't go up. So you have to go to the right or down. No, there's nothing down. Oh, well, you have to uh, go to the right. Forced to. I am Must missing something. something. Sometimes there are passages that... Did you go to cross there? Uh, yep, I did. Oh. So 
sometimes there's drop down passages that are not there. So maybe I fall. Yes. Do you think? Well, there's no I must. Other way. There's no, nothing else. I shouldn't get across there. There you go. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. So this is done in bitmap mode, where. No, oh, no, I didn't have any. <laughs> oh. Where they're literally replacing pixels on the screen, erasing them and drawing the new pixels in their place. Which, what I always suspected that the ZX Spectrum did as well. So now he's confirming that it does. So I haven't read up on uh, ZX Spectrum graphics. And they draw it in bitmap. Um, da, 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 where was I? If the code ends this one cycle of drawing graphics effects before the raster beam booths this place, everything is fine, there's no fiddle. In several rooms, I had to remove a few enemies that exist on the C64 version because the processor in Atari simply was not able to handle all of this in 50 frames a second. This could be done if I simply had more time to write more optimized code or simply using 128k of RAM to speed things up. So I'm guessing he's using like, he would be able to prepare a frame in another part of RAM and then just move it all over because he's prepared the full screen. Pseudographics explains in Polish, they often call sprites dusczek. Uh, which is sprite in English, but also has other meanings such as little ghost. Ah, uh, like. Oh. But we, uh, sprites in English sprite. also are sprite does mean mythical spirits. creatures. Yeah. Yeah. Kind so of. So it kind of works kind as of. well. Sprite. Ghosts. Yeah. Yeah. It is like a mythical, fantastical creature. Yeah. This is a little sprite. So such so sprite. sprite. Well, that's yeah. It's Translated from the Japanese. Yes. Yes. Oh, what is that? Interesting. Mac, 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 sura, sura, mac, mac, I oh, I can't remember, remember. Oh. what the Japanese name is. Oh. Gamma Dev says, so I guess... It's not Infinite Lives. Oh, you died way too many times. I did. Oh, oh. it restarted there, though. Oh, wait. Do you want me to... It restarted the level. Oh. Do you want to play? Do you want to play? I'm not or done are you... okay. reading, but I will play. So when you die, do you just start on the level, level two? Again? Level oh, two. Okay. I'm on That's level not two. Bad, then. Yeah, I don't we mind don't that at all. We don't need infinite lives then. We're fine. Well, I don't know if you got infinite lives. Ugh. Well, I think you might have. Ha I might have had to type infinite lives again really? on the second level. I don't know. Did you die only five times? It you says think? I have five lives, but I don't know. I died many times. More than five. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe I needed to do it on oh, the second level. You didn't lose. Oh no, because yeah. you had a. Maybe it's. Oh. That's one. <laughs> Um, so, Raphael Dudek uh, also talked mm -hmm. in the interview. Oh, sorry, I didn't go back to that. So I guess he's saying they don't double buffer, but instead have to update the single buffer, being careful when you do it after the beam is passed to avoid screen tearing. I think that is what he is saying. Um, and he had to remove some creatures because there was not enough time within um, the speed of the... Atari to be able to update the full screen. Like theoretically you could do time slicing, but I'm mm. sure he thought of that and update just some of the enemies some of the time, but that also may have not looked as good. It's like, okay, we'll update there's spikes. Oh, um, you can't update jump one up. bat, then Can update I? another oh, bat. Oh, I must be able to jump. Oh yeah. Did you finish that screen back there? Yeah, you have to get right okay. off the edge. Uh, no, no, I couldn't go anywhere. Um, he says, I am the originator and author of the game you can play. While creating this fascinating adventure, I had the opportunity to meet many extraordinary people. Some of them joined the band of creators of the game Tony. Also, the Atari computer fan community has proven to be extremely friendly and supportive. I've met with great enthusiasm and warmth from the people who share love of retro games with 8-bit computers. Thank you for your patience and support. It is very important to me. I invite you to take part in this adventure, which we have created together. I hope that the game will provide you with uh, many emotions and moments of entertainment. Have it, have, has it provided you with many emotions and mm. moments of entertainment it so has. far? Yes, I think so. I would say so. Uh, so far, a demo for the Commodore 64 and Amiga has been released. This is back um, when 
this only had a demo as well. Oh, come on. Ooh, I think you have to go up top. No, you to don't. Fall down. You have no? to be on the upper level. Yeah. Your bones rest in the sacred place. I of do the like Aztecs. that it restarts on the level you're at, though. That is good. That is that is what you want. That would be so hard. <laughs> um, as in the case of the C64. Uh, oh wait, but I treat the Atari XL exceptionally, and that's why I really care that Atari Tony would also come to Atari. And as in the case of the C64 demo, where the reported errors, errors in the demo have been corrected, so here I count on the players that they will report possible problems so that the final game is deprived of them. <laughs> Deprive games of errors! That's what you need to do. Ugh. Sometimes I love translations. I know, I do too. Because it becomes so literal yeah. and so to the point, and the phrasing is so good depriving games of errors. You get no errors, no bugs, games. I will add to the Amiga version is slightly inferior to the 8-bit because it was made in Blitz Basic, and the 8-bit was written in Assembler. This can be seen in the appearance of chambers on Amiga. Uh, you had to change, for example, the number of flames. There's also a jump on the C64, and Atari Parabola is better. So the jumping is better on the C64 and Atari. Uh, so... Eighth Mountain? I don't know what that means. At the beginning of this novelty is the cover of the collector's version. Oh, that's just a note. So there you go. There's the instructions. There's all the... I mean, the interview. Sorry. Uh, Nostalgic says, I like it if you collide with a creature. That creature disappears. Yes. Even if you lose a life. That helps prevent getting stuck. That yeah, I, I, I like that. It does make the gameplay a little bit more reasonable. <laughs> it does. Because then if you are oh, come on. missing. Get back Band. Band hammer for the spammer. Oh Oof. no! Don't run into run into those things. Like oh, even they... if you don't get smooshed, if oh. you run into them you die. You can't run against them. No. Oh god. I'm like down to one life again anyway. Terrible. 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 Oh, Gamma Dev gives it's Deadpool and Wolverine nice. 9 out of 10. Pure, oh, I'm supposed to be watching that. Don't pure fan me. service, but in a good way. Highly I recommend, love... especially in 3D. There's 3D? Oh, I don't like 3D movies. Oh. Hop Boo. over them. Your turn. Always hop over them. Uh, so I gonna really want to see it. I really want to see it. Aren't you watching it? You're going to see it? I'm going to see it with friends next week. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not me. So mean to I mean, we could see it ahead of time, but no, the point <laughs> was to go see it with a couple of my friends who wanted to, see, to watch it, so, yeah. Let's see how well I do. Excellent. No, I, I, I've, I've enjoyed all the Deadpool films. They've all been yeah. very entertaining. Oh, Nostalgic seeing it on Sunday. Excellent. Oh, That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Where's this bat fly? Where do you fly? You fly up there. Where's the safe spot? Nowhere? Is it here? Have you been ducking? Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah! Ah! Yeah, you do need to duck. Nice. Uh, do I need to go there first? Uh, you need a key. Oh. So once you get up there, you, there's a door, and if you don't have a key, you can't go any further. So, just giving you a hint. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Sneezy cat. I know. I know. Oh, oh no, you need that key. There you go. So should I go back now? Uh, you could. Yeah, you could. You could see how, where that leads you. I don't know if you'll be able mm. to jump across. You can try. I, think I, have I haven't to fall died down. at all, so you know you fall down on the. Hey, bat. I'm on nothing. Yeah. yeah. I think you have to do that. Too. No, you can go back down and around. Oh, can I? Yeah. Can you? Yeah. Is there enough. Okay. There, there, there's a ladder there. Mm. Yeah. Anywhere you jump from, you can pretty much jump to. Oh, what is it? baby, I'm you deprived want of trees. You want catnip? Oh, there's more doors. Oh, there's so many. So you need to get all the many keys. Many keys, yeah. Yep. Fair enough. 
3D with purpose is great. You can tell Ryan Reynolds was making up for the fact Fox was too cheap to let Deadpool 1 or 2 be in 3D or have more X-Men. Nothing like an R-rated fight scene with this memorments <laughs> coming at you. Nice, nice. Oh, which way have I not gone? Uh, I'm going to do this first. Yeah, I did enjoy. Oh, thank you, Gamma Dev. Cats, cats, cats. Party time for kittens. So, who... Oh, this cat is asleep. Oh, this is going to make him sleepy. It's okay. It can be more sleepy. Oh, this... Can I even duck on this bat? I know. Another spammer. Another one? Can you destroy? Banhammer. Oh, my God. Spammer banhammer. Okay. Who wants some? Do you like this? Oh, oh, he's awake now. He's awake. Oh. A little bit for you. Here. There. And I will give a little bit for you. There you go. Do not. No, no, you don't need his catnap. You have your own. <laughs> thank you, Gamma Dev. Yay, Gamma Dev, thank you. No, no, no. He so he's wants. He's like, I want whatever he has. It must be better than mine. It's definitely better than mine. Oh, can I get back? Grass is so jealous. Grass so is jealous. always greener, right? Kitty uppers. Furry FOMO, yes. Furry FOMO. It is furry FOMO. Yeah. Little kittens are like, whatever. Oh, oh, Atari's oh, on the floor. Roly -poly oh, there's kitty. a roly poly cat now. He's like, oh. Is his, is his different? Is it better? Can I have his? There's a big idol. Oh, now Atari's licking him. I yeah. Got the big idol. They're all happy now. Got the big idol. Yeah, I got that one too. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. That's not you. You didn't finish the level though. No, neither of you, so. Yeah, but I have four lives still. <laughs> and I have uh, uh, no keys. Not needing have... Atari's catnip is a matter <laughs> of opinion, yeah. Oh, oh, he's pushed him out. Oh. Oh. Meanie. Oh, no, that's not yours. You're not allowed that. No, I'm taking it away. No! Damn it, I knew. Oh, as soon as I jumped, I was You've like, got no, your own. No. You've got your own on a beautiful zero page coaster that I made. Oh, there's a key. Here. What's this? What's this? Oh, no, I have to get rid of. Oh, it's what? Not. Oh, it just replaces. It's all this stuff. Silly cat. Sid loves playing with that dish. Oh, there's another key. How are you feeling? Are you feeling hot? So the re the keys replace potions. They do. Oh, they do. Yes. Oh, so you don't so have you to. You don't get rid have of, to get uh, it. Well, I swear in the demo sense. you did. Oh, I see. Well, that makes sense. That they. So I have two more keys. That. But do I need more keys? Do I need three keys? Oh, there's another oh, key. Oh, there was at least three. Yeah, there were three doors. Three doors. Oh, this is tough. But the nice thing is because you open one of them, you still have a slot free. I'm not sure. I guess you need... Ugh. Don't die. I guess you need the totem for something. That's to finish the game. Yeah. yeah. So you need the three keys. You need to go right back to where you were and, you, and go through those three doors. Yep. Okay. Thank you so much, Gamma Dev. These cats are happy. No. You might want to flip back over when oh. when you have a chance. Yeah, there we go. Oh, they're all rolly. There's a rolly sit on the cat cam. And Atari's asleep. So I can't <laughs> die because I have no potions. Yeah. Where's the ladder up? It's up here. Oh, oh you can't get a potion. Can't get anything. They I'm don't sit full. in the background. No. No, they do not. That one. That guy's hard. You have to duck. Yeah, baby. Are you high? Are you full of catnip? I'm high. Are you high? I'm you shouldn't be high. You're so young. It's like when my mother used Damn to give it. me gravel when we would go on long flights. <laughs> we don't want to deal with this child. We don't want to deal with this what? child. You Fill them up with medication. You can't jump from there. Just wasted two bloody lives. Yeah, you can't. No? Oh. From the bottom oh. over there? No. Okay. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, we're 
almost at the end. I think so. There's nothing too dis soul destroying up here. Be ah! careful! And then this has the doors. No spikes. One, two. One crunchy, two crunchy. There is room to sit on this Yeah, side. you just have to be very careful. Time it right with the bats. Nope, you, ha you can't be on the edge of that. Mm, because there's a bat there. Oh no, we have to do it over again. Hello, Chalcedony Meow! Meow. Doing a speed run. <laughs> can I get past this bat without killing? I, can't, I did last time. Rendered ghost says, shh, I'm a ghost. So you're not dead. There's tons of them anyway. Yeah, there are. Don't go up there. Well, I have three keys. you need four keys. You need a key oh. to get through the first one. So I think the idea is you should open the first door and then come back down. Right. Because you need, no, you need you, you need to open the first door. Oh no, you need a key first, right? Yeah. yeah. Because um, you can't hold the totem or whatever that is and the um, right and and, oh, th and four keys. Although, I suppose you could get the four keys and then go... Nah, no, I, I think you need one key first. I think that makes any sense. Yes, the skull's eyes blink when you pick up items and open doors. It is a very nice touch. That is a very nice touch. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Insanely good. Yeah, really, really nice. And, you know, some people in the early days of this game were like, Oh, it's only in black and white. It's like... Games can be in black and white. And be, have wonderful gameplay. And if they were able to get higher resolution because it's in black and white, I think that's a great trade-off. It's all about the gameplay. Anyway. Okay. Oh no! is for monochrome only. This game could yeah. have done very well on those, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this song is a bop. I like it. Dee -doo -dee -dee -dee. Yeah, you missed level one, I'm guessing, and it had different music, which is yeah. wonderful. And there's... Pseudo graphics had a hand in the music. Very Help, nice. Uh, Fixing Thank up you. some issues That's with the awesome. music. Friend of the show, Pseudo Graphics. I'm not quite sure the catnip is a kitty upper. <laughs> Seems to be very much a kitty downer right now. Oh no, I <gasps> did that last time. I know, because you just you forget it's there. It kind of hides. Uh, now to get the other keys. I should get that one last. No, you should get it now. No, because why? What difference if I get does it, it make? now, it'll get rid of a potion that I might need on the way back. A potion? Yes, defend to defend myself oh, against all the things coming oh, back. Oh, I see so what I you're saying. So I should get the keys in reverse uh, order. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Yes. Yes so. Yes. Not guess so. I guess, yes, so. I guess so. Yeah. No, no, I'm not saying you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, ah. that's a reasonable... It Tactic? doesn't come all the way there. Okay. Does... This one's hard to time. Anyway. 
least that's just a potion. Yeah. Yes, due to the player use in the game was different version than the one that the musician used, I had to transpose some instruments. Okay. Ah. Good work on that. The music sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. Can't get off ladders. Can no, you jump you off can't. ladders? Nope. No, you can't. Go right to the bottom. Well, there's my last key. <laughs> Perfect. Get it anyway. I guess you could go back and forth, but... It is very dangerous to do all this um, with no safety net. Yeah. Right. I think you do have to jump up and then yeah. drop down. Uh, drop? Yeah, you can drop. Yeah, because I tried to jump the other game and, and it's it, like you couldn't I was make it right the whole way. The edge. Yeah. Maybe I wasn't right, right to the edge. This is where you go, right? Yeah. yeah. And then the door is right on the other side of that. No safety net. Uh. Ooh, that's something I didn't do. Ah, oh, because you can pick it up. Yes. Smart. There's another one. Yeah. So I should stand at the edge and kill that bat. What? No, you can just run across. Can't you? With two bats and that thing, that's four things I have to coordinate. That's Jump, run, jump, run. Okay oh my god, I'm not even touching the bat. Yeah. That's. Ooh, nice hitbox. <laughs> Very lenient hitbox. No, no, no. Wait, wait till there's a nice synchronization. This time. Good job. I'll take that. Thank you. And spikies. Ugh. Oh no, that's okay. You got. Potions. There's not much of a not much room to jump. It's the big door, right? Nope, not yet. Oof. This snake. Oh, oh there's more what? doors. What? <gasps> oh, oh no! What did I miss some stuff? No, but you have to go backwards. You have to go backwards. You can't carry that many keys. Oh, you do have to go backwards. So you have to break open three doors and then go back and get more keys. I mean, if you knew that beforehand, you would have done that. <gasps> you will have to do the, the unlimited lives the next <laughs> load. Yeah. Well, I don't know. There weren't obviously limited li unlimited lives. It just gave you five lives or something. I don't know. Maybe what do you it start with extra lives. Maybe I think extra. Just not unlimited. So where did you not go down? Further down. Yeah. Go down there. Yeah. Yep. There to the right. And left. Uh. Yep. <laughs> Let's do right first, I guess. There's a key. Okay, there's one on the other side. Yeah. That's not too bad, then. If it's just as short to get the last key. I have two potions. That's good. Yep. I need two keys. Two keys. Two so keys, I'll and then there was the final left. door, which I'm assuming that That's the head gets you through that. So. Yep. There it is. All right. All right. So I should kill one of those bats. You don't have to. Oh, I guess you could. You won't let me. Just jump. Uh, just jump. Oh, yeah, I can just jump through the bat. There you go. 
and not get the potion and get those two points. Hooray for points! Those will only count if you can do the game in one go, because we already started over. I do have one potion, which is nice. In case I mess up somewhere. And up. And back and through. Back. At least it's not that far. They're not, not like torturous, no. where it's like, oh, you have to traverse the whole level again. Well, that's what level three is. <laughs> Yes. That's how it works. No regenerating potions, sadly. No spikes. Yeah, no regenerating potions. And the skeleton on the wall. Yeah. It's Very cute. good graphics. Don't, yeah. Great detail. I don't know if you can die from falling. <sighs> Yay! It's a white level. It does designate colors because that last yes, color was forced. I can can change yeah. it if I want to. Yeah. Um. Um, if anybody, like, the name of the game, Tony Montezuma's Gold, mm -hmm. I think that is a very blatant reference to Montezuma's Revenge. Well, Montezuma is... No, the game Montezuma's Revenge. Yeah. Um, which you had swords that you collected, which protected you from things. Oh, I see. And keys of different colors. Yeah. That opened doors. Mm -hmm. Um, and you had ladders, and it was... Very similar. Very similar. So it is like a tribute to that. So can I? Yeah, you can stand, I think. It's I pretty high stand. at the top of that ladder. And then I'm going to go left. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay. There's so many paths. He's fast. Spideys! Yelling spiders. Ooh, do I go over them? Under and under. Them. Just enough to go under. Nice. So there are five levels. Is this as unforgivingly pixel perfect as Montezuma's Revenge? Oh god, Revenge? no. The Montezuma's Revenge is brutal. Brutal. Those are awesome. Yes, they're very cool. Blip, blip, blip. Blip, blip, blip. They're super funny. And I'm, I'm, and you can fall as far as you want in this one. Montezuma's Revenge, you could only far so fall so far. And then you die. And then, you, then you're, you die in the most brutal way I've ever seen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I you land that. in your head and your legs are twitching. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh my god. Pop up. Pop up. That's oh, oh no. no! Terrible timing. Two keys. One two. It's warning. <gasps> Yay! The tree falls loose. Is Yay, it time cute. for treats, kittens? Oh, right in the box. Right, right in the box. Immediately into the cat box. That's how it works when you're a kitten. When you're a kitten. No, I don't need you here. No, you get in the box. You wait for your treats. <laughs> I want the treats right out of the bin. I'm a squealy little cat. Okay. Thank you so much. Who did it? Rendered ghost. Rendered ghost. Thank you. The cats say merci. Merci. They are French cats. Merci. I don't know where they picked French up. But no. They're Canadian cats. Canadian. They're bilingual cats. Bilingual. Oh. All right. I one, of the one kitty here. One kitty. Let's slide. You, you go. There are secret passages in this game, but I'm so scared to lose my life. <laughs> like, there might be one underneath there. Oh, I see. Yeah. Don't know how you'd get there. Oh, there's nothing there. Uh, I don't know where the... Okay. 
Hey, no, no, no. You, you have your own ball. He just wants, he wants, he wants Atari's ball. Okay, oh, both of you, let's do it in here. Two doors and a new key. Ooh, that was a very short. Ooh, look at that block coming down. Oh, wow, nice. Oh, no. what? You hear a spider. Oh, and I didn't have anything left. No. Oh, damn it. But it's so easy to get treats from you than from the ball. That's exactly. <laughs> Hi, you can have treats too. You don't have to let that kitten bull you around. <laughs> but he's he's just a baby. I have to make sure he's okay. It's hard. Okay, I'll give you your own treat ball. No, you good the kittens. No, 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 no. I thought I could hop on the ladder. Nope. I can't. Ooh. Middle, over, middle, over, yeah. Yeah, you can get through. Do you run as fast as you jump? No, you jump faster. And you run. I think? Oh, it's so hard to tell. Whoa! Oh my god. Ah. That is tough timing. This is not easy. Oh my god. It doesn't look easy and you're down to one life. Uh, All that is his is mine, says Richard Cuss. <laughs> He doesn't yes. understand sharing at this point. It's not the sharing. It's, but his thing looks better. I need his thing. My thing is meh, but his thing looks better. We feed both cats. Me? He wants to eat Atari's food. I don't think that can kill me. Unless no? I go up the ladder. Or jump. Yeah, you probably have to go up the ladder at some point. Or jump. I see you can run across those. Yes, I have. Seems to have slowed me down, but Ooh. Ooh. it's a tight, tight one. It is. Did you, are you finished? Wait, where, where did your ball go? Okay, that's <laughs> empty. Where's the pink one? What did you do with the pink ball? Is it in the hall? Shall we do a little bit of bell training? Oh, he knows what bell training. Is. Where did the pink ball go? Think he knows what bell training is, or he's just crying. Do a little bit of bell training. Where are the doors? Hmm? Where are the doors? Okay, Atari, I'm keeping you out. You can come in in a little bit. Okay. Any doors? Are you gonna hit the bell? Oh, there's a door. Oh um, my god. Okay. Have you figured it out, kids? Have you figured it out? Okay, this works? is too hard. I think I'm gonna have to uh, cheat. No, no cheating. <gasps> Oh, you've given yourself extra lives. Kitten? Kitten? Oh, what? What just happened? Kitten? Okay. Kitten? Oh, that was a very quick way to get to Try those. Again. Try again. Come here. Come here. Give me your paw. Okay. Can you see this? Look at this. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what you're doing, but please stop. <laughs> Okay, that was a bell. There you go, you get a treat. You're not cheating, you're making it possible to demonstrate the full richness of the game That's to your viewers. That's correct. We want to see all the levels, hear all the music, look at all the graphics. We want to appreciate the whole game. And um, okay. we can do an, uh, a proper run through at a different time when uh, it, I have more time on an After Dark. Ken, look at me. Look at me. Oh, damn it. Don't know if he's gonna get it. Ever? <laughs> there's two doors. I don't know if there's more to get to the down here. Is this where I started? This is where I started. That's where I started. Okay, so I don't need to go back. It's here. Good. What do you need to do? No, don't look back. 
Oh, what do you need to do? Damn it. What do you need to do? Hit the bell. Squeak. Hit the bell. Oh, oh, he almost did it accidentally. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. He accidentally almost did it. Yeah. Well, accidentally is sometimes good enough. You do it, baby. I'm gonna let your brother in, and he's gonna get all the treats. Oh, he's outside. Oh, that was very good. I'm gonna give you a treat for that because that was very close. Close is good. If he he's kind of he put his paw on it. So. Well, that's good. Any attempt is good. Yeah. That, that's good. I'll yep. take it. He put his paw near it. Takes a little bit of time. Bring in the ringer, literally. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. ringer. You use your paw. Damn it! Oh, well, he's gone now. Oh my god. Can't touch it. It has to be. Not it has to be off your screen. Says that. Oh, okay. oh, that was good. Okay, I'll take that. Your paw being in the general vicinity. General vicinity paw. Ooh, should I go and get that? I don't think so. Just for a potion? I already have a potion. Yeah, if you already have one. And there's one up here. Okay. I don't think so. So I can be there. And I can be there. potion already so it doesn't matter. I don't have to backtrack. So let's keep going to the left here. There's key. Perfect. He's very good. Oh, I'll take it. It was more of a lick, but oh, that's... he did move his paw in the general direction. General direction is good. want to show this or you want to show the game? Uh, I think they want to see the kitten. They've see, I've been through all this, so it's fine. Okay, I'm going to bring in the big cat. Bring in the big cat. And I'll show you how it's done. Okay? Now watch. Smacking his head. He's smacking the kid. No, you have to hit the actual bell. <laughs> you have to hit the actual bell. Atari. Atari. <laughs> Good kid. He saw it. He sniffed it. He's like, oh, oh, that means yeah, treat. He gets distracted by the treat itself, unfortunately. There you go. Good kitty. Another door, and I have one key left. Let's just explore a little bit. But I will keep going to the left. Oh, what? Okay, that's a door. What? What? Did I just reset somewhere? What? I don't know what happened. Go ahead. It like loaded a different part. Go ahead. Go, Terry. Have I been here? <laughs> you smacked the kitten. No, I haven't. Okay. <laughs> Hit the bell. There you go. Good kitty. No, I, you have to draw his attention to the bell, but I, I, I do agree. He needs to put two and two together that bell means treat. I'm going to have to use that. I'm going to have to use it. Ah, oh, door. Oh, no. Feed Atari forever, yeah. Can I get up here? Oh, bushes equals death. Damn it. Oh, my lives are going down now. It only he's, gives you some extra lives. He still thinks. You can you can see Sid. He still thinks the treat is on the bell, Damn or it. he doesn't quite get ring the bell for the treat. Damn it! He looks upset. Watch Atari. Watch Atari. His little brain will figure it out. 
just a tiny brain. Okay, that's just an extra area. Okay, sit, I have one potion sit. left. Sit. 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 Ooh, I can duck. I sit. Can't duck. Yeah, Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Oh, can't duck. One of them I can duck, and the other one I can't. Damn it. <laughs> you just got him stoned now. You expect him to think, well, yeah, I know. <laughs> there you go. That's the last one. I don't have any potion. Unless Sid hits it, but... There's a potion. Sid's just like, can I have your crumbs? Damn it. There's no more. Sorry, guys. No, no, it's all done. Damn it! Oh, you poor guys. Okay, now you can switch it back. Okay, Sid, now ends your treat. Your treat, Bell. Oh done. my god, what just happened? Have you played Atari today? Yes. I have to duck. and Did I die? What just happened? I don't know. You have three lives. Is this a zap? There's a zap in I the know. wall. I know there is. And does that hold any purpose? Yes, it does. It does. Did I miss that? Oh no. Sam it. Well, it's a little hint for people. Oh, got the idol. Okay. Treats! Yep. Two lives left. Boo! side to the right. oh my god there's no safe space Why am I? there is a safe space at the key <gasps> oh no damn it this is hard the Atari what XC no my particular system yes. is an Atari 800 XL there you go oh you can walk through it um, interesting I do like the chompy uh, spiders the animation is incredibly cute oh well, no I'm not they're very cute. And the ghosts that pop up. They're yeah. so everything's oh, really cute. Yeah. It's got a little things some things are scary, but a lot of things are very cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Hungry chompy spiders. Chompy spiders. Oh no. Oh my god, that's terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening? My neighbors must think we're crazy. Um, He's saying, yes. oh my god, over and over again. <laughs> Skeletons doing the wave, yes! on the left hand side. Uh, other screen? Mm-hmm. Oh. Walk on the spikies. Thank you for the hint. It is not a bad thing to have. Nope. Extra potions. Always good. Yeah. Hi Sid. Oh no, no, no chatting. No, no. chatting. <laughs> no, you guys like to chat. I'm gonna be right back. He does. He has no respect for keyboards whatsoever. He just walks right across them as if they're nothing. Oh my god. That one's to so hard. It's good to use a potion for that. Very good to use a potion. Well, there's another potion if I ever find some doors. There's a door. 
I'm gonna go get that potion. Cause why not? Now, should I jump over this one? Above or below? Probably when he's above me. Yep. Actually, what am I doing? Where, where am I going? Oh, something's hitting my head. Well, that's pointless. There's nothing over there. I don't know why I went over there. Still don't know how I'm going to finish that part that I got to. So hard. Because it's not like you can defeat it. Well, actually, you can defeat it with a potion. You can defeat that one dude with a potion. That'll make life a billion times easier. So I have to save a potion for that guy. Any significance to the zap in the pillar in the middle of the room? Yes, there is. Did you find out what it was? I know what it is. Oh, you f figured it out? Well, I can't. I can't say. You know? Yes, or I you do. you figured it out in your game? I knew it beforehand. Oh, okay. So then you're not going to say anything. No. It's mm, kind of obvious. Okay. When you Is know what to do. Okay. Oh. <gasps> Smosh. Hate See, it. it's the same as Mario. Don't quickly run into rooms or you get smushed by wamps. Damn it! No. Don't get wamped. How do you no. go backwards? You know, do you, you have to run. Not do it. You, you can't, run. You can't run. Yes, you can. Run. Oh, okay. <laughs> just go. F I do. I know you can't run, but I mean, just go through it fast. I just want a potion because I need to use it to deal with that um, super hard dude that runs back and forth that I couldn't defeat. I should go to the right? Did I come from the right? You came from the left. Or did you? Yeah, no, originally? Like before. I haven't been following this. I do enjoy the skeletons doing the way. Now I've used it up. Did I come from here? I don't know where you came from. <laughs> oh, you, oh, oh no. there you go. There's another one. But I need the potion. Yeah, you got it. Oh. I need the potion. This is that. For dealing with something. Do you know which what it is? Yeah. Oh, the, 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 the thing at the top? Yeah. Fall of Speed it up. Oh, what? So many. Watch that cat. He's gonna. Can you get hey, him? He's hey, going to attack. Hey. Come here. Come here, Sid. Come here, Sid. I know that cat now. I know his bad behavior. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, okay. Well, this is a one way. Duck. Oh. I was holding down uh -huh. as I died. What are you fighting me for? Because you're there. You need to figure out how to ring a bell. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. No. Oh, the, he this is never figures it out. Is. That's fine. Mm -hmm. He's just playing with a the velcro. You're okay. You're okay. You've like a billion lives. Oh, this game is hard. I can't imagine doing it without extra lives. I mean, it's possible, but it's very hard. So many potions that I can't get. Potions over here. Did I go There's there? There's a zap. 
to go this way? I can't remember. I think I just need to go up. I have so many keys. Took me to a secret place. Oh! Used up one of my keys. Mm. Just for that. Yeah. Oh, this might be where that thing is. I have to climb up. I think it is. Mm. <gasps> oh no, that's okay. He's gone now. Makes life easier sometimes. Howler and TSC. I'm running on Get a that. PAL system, but this game also runs on NTSC. And I believe it's just the same cartridge or the same um, file. Do those go out of sync? You can go in the middle. Oh. The middle is more a, bit, a bigger gap, it seems. There you go. Uh, I'm going to have to go down that ladder. Why would I... Why? why would I go There's here? nothing there. Maybe you got something already? Mm. Maybe. Oh, no. Where am I? I haven't even been here before. No. There's oh a door. Oh, God. Let's not go first. Oh! Let's get that. <laughs> Many! So you can keep going. I thought you could just get. use it once, but no. You can Is just there keep anything of value there? There's points, but. Unless there's a secret passageway. Which I don't see. Can't yeah. jump up top there. Yeah. Bushes are deadly in this game. Oh my god. I forgot about that. I did. Very easy to forget about. <gasps> the, Never the, move! Never move! <laughs> the timing in this game. Is, they have set it up so it is absolutely perfect to destroy you. <gasps> I have any keys! Mm. God, where do I go? No! Where do I go now? I back. Know. There was a lot of potions back there, too. I don't need potions. I don't, I don't, you don't go to the know. right? Um, yeah. Did you go to the right? Yes, I did. That's where I came from. Okay, that's the empty room. There must be something here. Hidden on the other side, do you think? Yeah. Why would you go here? Dead end. Weird. Unless there's something above. Oh no, you can't do that though, can you? No. Secret area? Duck? Duck and fall through? Can't fall through there. There's a pit of spikes. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Well, that's the only way back. <gasps> Pixel perfect. Sometimes it gives you a lot of leeway, and sometimes it's, it's like, no, no, you're dead. Okay, which way? Oh, I can't that way. That's the time sticking out. Backtrack. Okay, probably gonna give you the map now. <laughs> okay. Problem is, is I don't know what keys you've gotten, but. Well, yeah, that's a problem. So we're on level three. Pseudographic says go to the right. From this screen? Probably not from this screen. There's the numbers. I see the numbers. There are numbers on this one. So this will help you decipher which level we're on. Then refer to that one, because that one's bigger. We're in three? Yes. 
I don't know what you've done. That's a problem. Well, mm, yeah, and there's no keys indicated on there anyway. Go to the right on the ladder. Which ladder? This ladder? So hard. This ladder, maybe. Oh, have you been this way? I have been down here, but maybe I haven't. There's also a left. I haven't been here. That ladder down, maybe? Or have you gone oh, this, to the oh, right? Oh, okay. This is maybe where I didn't No. <laughs> no, that's, yep. Instructions through chat is the worst. Uh, Go back, says Pseudographics. Okay, but where? Just, How far back? What are you doing? He's fine. Ugh, playing he's with, been playing with plastic. Up! He wants you to go back. Okay. Right. That was lucky. Up. Okay. We are listening to Pseudographics. Who knows what they're talking Up about? Up and to the right. I'm guessing, because he said to the right. Yes, to the right. Do you not know where I am on the map? I have no idea. It's that very works. hard to see this map. Yeah, it's the highest. It's teeny tiny. Highest resolution there is. I'm sorry. it again. <laughs> it's pretty linear. To the right? To the left? Left, right. It's going to be very slow for doing it this way. What is... Right. That's where I came from. So go back through these things. Is it a secret passage? And then, well, there's only one way. Okay, there's a down. I, I have, there's only one way here. Can you go so to I'm the left? Completely backtracking again. You can't jump over that then. In that room? In this room. Once more down. Oh. Well, his delay might be like a minute. Yeah. So here, is it to? No, it can't be to the right, can it? I died on those bushes. Okay. There's only one path. Yeah. Or here. Oh, it's a pseudo graphics. Play at the bubble. Room. I thought you could go through. <laughs> oh. You can't jump over it? You can't jump on the edge of that and jump over? No. I thought I did jump and bushes are deadly. There. No. Okay, well, we're Maybe you can go through. Maybe that is a hidden thing. Maybe I can? Are you sure? I just died walking through it. No, but you didn't jump over it. You hit it. I mean, I don't want you to die. I just, I'm just saying maybe try and see if you can. No way I can jump that high. Mm. Is that wall with a dark spot passable? Oh, like there. Mm, there's another brick there. But no, that one's not passable. Please, mm. can you... I'll locate myself here. Well, you figure it out. I don't know where you are. Which map is That's it? three. Okay. Which would be this one. Right. But that's orange. I don't think that's correct. They can you be any must color. be on four. They can be any color. There's no way I'm on four. No? We're consulting maps of people who have gone before us. <laughs> Which one's four? 
or is the long one like the yeah that one I don't know. Those maps are too small for it to be useful. They're probably made useless on purpose, so you can't consult them. Pixel perfect! Well, we're going back again up here. Let's see if I missed anything. I don't think I did, because there's a door. I don't have a key. Yeah, you have no choice but to backtrack. Yeah, so I know that now. And I think going to the left is a dead end. I think you found that out. That's a dead end. That is a dead end, too. Almost certain is a dead end. That's a dead end. And you can't jump up. Yeah. It's high height. But there's nothing really to jump to. It's all bushes. Deadly bushes. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> so we'll just keep to the right. Back. And the right was back. No, no. So when down is nothing. Need a key. Once I feel like we... the walls with tongues sticking out are taunting us. Yes. <laughs> I agree with that. They are like, nah, nah, you can't get through us. Arr. Just keep backtracking until we find a room that we haven't gotten got things in. Are you playing with everything? Yes, you are. <laughs> Do not harass so me! That's empty. And there's I nothing can, down. Unless I can jump over those. Yeah, but you'd land in the bushes and die, I think. Unless you... Well, maybe, but I don't... Maybe? Ooh, I feel like that's a no. No. Left. You've been to the left? I've been everywhere. And to the right. I've been everywhere. Oh, maybe I've not been up there. That looks leap of faith. Nope. There's somewhere down here. Well, I'll get a potion. And there's to the right, too. There you go. Oh, there's the there's, there's the, the key. key. So, okay, I have a potion which will solve that. And there's a down there issue, too, dude. A dude. Oh, that this is the one you couldn't get though. Yes. Remember? Yes. This is it's the friggin' awful. This is where it is. But you just solve it by just doing that. Oh. And now it's easy. That's so I think very that's, true. I, I I think it'd be almost impossible. Without like, killing. Without killing. Without anything. having a potion. And that's fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Potions are part Is of this game. Is there down? Uh, You've already it, done all that. I think I've... Have you? Nope. Ooh. Another key. Well, I'm definitely getting that key while I'm here. Is it probably going to need it? Double idol? Wow. Impressive. There's one flame and two flames in the room on the left, and zero, one, and two flames in the room on the right. Any meaning to that? I don't know. Um, zero, one, and two. Hmm. Yeah, I noticed that with the zero. I can't get, get a potion. Too many idols. I love those guys. They're so friggin' funny. <laughs> the guys who pop up? Yeah, this, the so skeletons cute. are adorable. So cute. Mm-hmm. Load. There. Zero, one, two. I'm guessing you can just land up. No. Nope. <laughs> oh my god. I have to 
be on top of that. One, Is it this way? Two, yep. Back to where I need to go? Yep. Love them. <laughs> Pixel perfect. <sighs> Stupid hat. Why does it kill me when it hits my hat? <sighs> Don't forget the others, jumpy guys. One. Wee. Oh. What? You drop back to where you were. What? Interesting. What? That was a false door. I don't know another way. Should I go back to where there? Go back up. What? What? You fell down. What? Should I have jumped? You can sit on those maps. It was They're black. Yes. Oh, okay. We're back here. Mm -hmm. But then you fell on the other side. Kittens. <laughs> you panicked the cat. He's a panic cat. Hi, panic cat. Hi. You like paper. Okay. This is where I fall down. You fell down so the other should side. I jump, and I think. No. No, that's it. That's it. It's a black room. There's nothing. So it was a waste of a key? Yeah. It's a waste. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, now where do I go? gonna have to traverse the whole area again. There's nothing up here. Is there more? No, that just leads to that spot. So, no. I have to keep going. No. What was left? That's a dead end. Oh, the left is that place I fell, so... And there's I'm nothing done more. Done all up, that area. Right? There was nope. nothing to the right. Nothing. Mm. Nothing. Unless I completely missed something. That's nothing. Oh my god. Did I? Wait a second. No. Oh. So. You didn't restart, did you? No. You should add extra lives. Oh. Thank you. So. The thing I need to find is are those idle heads that I need to pass through. And they, are, they do look like blocks. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, I'm yeah. trying to figure. Psst, psst, psst. No, no kittens. Play with your bubble wrap. Oh, look at it! It's so exciting. So go down. Yep. There's nothing down here. 
Oh, there's a ladder! <gasps> I don't think I saw that. Did I see that before? I must have. No! Oh. oh, well, but that I've gets you here. down. That's the broken ladder. Kitten! Uh, should I go back down? You probably have to backtrack down past that broken ladder again, maybe? Did you go down the broken ladder? I just... yes. You did? Yes. Because I assume you have to backtrack and fall down the broken ladder. Because that's usually what you do with broken ladders. Oh! What kind of room is that entrance? <laughs> you have to die. You have to use a potion. Okay, well, this is an area that I haven't been to a lot. That's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do. It's going to be teleported. Right back down. I love mazes. I love them so much. So that's the thing that just loops me back. So, so if you go to the right here. So that ladder? Yeah. Oh. I think. Oh, I'm supposed to go. Been everywhere. Okay, so you want to go up. Yeah. And then you want to go right back to where you were, because I think. Help! Help! I think it's like up and to the right. Oh, there's an ocean. I don't know if that's worth. There's a ocean in there. Uh, okay. No, I think you want to go up. Right. So go up again. All right. There's some ladders. Uh, keep going to the right. Start where you, uh... Another key? Okay, I haven't been here. What the hell? I don't know why you need so many I keys. still don't have a door that I can use any of these things on. These two idols and two keys. Go to the left and up. Left and up, okay. So 
there should somewhere be. If you're going to the left. I think it is supposed to be up. I think kind of where you were. So if you go up here. Yeah. Okay, so this is where you were before. Yep. And then to the left. Is nothing. There's nothing there and down. And then you can go to the right and up again. Okay. Past all the flames. Many flames. And up. And then up. Because yeah, it does seem like this is the place to go for the end. So. Yeah, so go up here. Like, this seems like an end boss. This is area. the end. Ugh. Oh! <gasps> this is level five, by the way. What? Yeah. Have we just been teleporting? Yeah, we've, we've, there are some levels that seem like one, but they were actually two. Oh! Um, so you want to go... So yeah, two idols here. seems like an end end of the game. So, okay. Yeah, so if you go up from here. You see, that's where you dropped. Right. Did I need two idols? Or did I have two idols? I'm just punishing I, I, I can't see. Like an endpoint on this map at all. Well, it's not really going to show you an endpoint, I guess is it? not. But, like, yeah, so here... This is where I loop around. Yes. But, yeah, so, so when, when you go, go back up... When again? you go back up... Yep. So that's the drop point. Okay, so go up here. Drop again and see what no, happens. No, no, don't drop again. You're go in a up. maze of twisty passages all alike. Very true. So there's something to the right there. I don't know if you can get through that wall. No. Can you go down into the right? No. Down? Like, just be at the top of the ladder? Yeah. Is there anything here? No. 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 There's another room in there? Well, there's something indicated on the map there. Mm. Maybe it's just decoration. Mm. How would you get in that in that space, though? To the right. That's a good question. Oh, falling. Didn't help. And you couldn't jump, right? I didn't try, but... I don't think it would have helped you. I don't think so. I don't think you can fall and do anything. I'm gonna look for a full walkthrough soon of this game. Because this is not making sense. Well, let's, let's just... Ex no, there's no way up there. Are you, are you sure you're not just looking at, like, stuff decoration above? Well, I, I, it like must this? be, because it, that, that's it. That's the room. Yeah, it's that just decoration. It's just so. decoration. Yeah. Well, I'll try and like fall and jump. Are we sure that falling through two empty screens isn't a bug? That is a possibility. It shows a gap in this map. Where I'm falling. Like it feels like that should be the end of the game, doesn't it? Oh yeah. This so is... maybe maybe that is the end of the game, but the do you think the ROM you have maybe doesn't have that final screen? But this is the drop point, right? Yeah. So I'm going to stay right here. So right here is the drop point, and I just loop and loop and loop. So I'm going to try and jump and move. I'm going to jump into the void, and then try and jump and move as much as I can while I'm falling. Ah! No. Just nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. We're looking. We're going to now look at a full playthrough of this game because well, something is weird. Like, I don't think that... Well, we're, we're either missing... That falling the is exit right. Point. It 
is because I've cheated? <laughs> Maybe. It's like, no cheaters. Cheaters just get a loop at the end of the game. Mm. Full demo? No. Hmm. Not full. Not demo. Not demo. We're not just going to put full there. Now we're going to go for... Uh, over 20 minutes, because it should take not... Oh, oh 24 minutes. Is it going to complete in 24 minutes, or is it going to be talking? Oh, lots of talking. Oh, it's playing it. It's playing it. Oh, he's doing it super speed. Okay. We've never seen this screen. Never seen this screen. What? Never seen this screen. Okay, well, we're gonna... It looks like a different game. Never seen this screen. Well, it's definitely not a different game, but... Nope. I've never seen candles. No, this is... This isn't the same game you're playing, is it? Or it's a completely different level. Yeah, that's... This is not... Not the same game. Why does it look the same? <laughs> What it's is this? similar, but it's on a different co like a different system, isn't it? He's playing Atari. Is he? Then oh, it's this just is the demo. Level. Oh, okay. Uh, this guy doesn't do full. Let's see. Oh, game over. No. We're at a loss. Saberman didn't do it. See, I see, no, I see no endpoint well, on this map at all. Twenty minutes. There's no endpoint on this map. And I'm definitely on level five. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. You're on level five. Okay. So if you start from the bottom and move up, you would think the top would be the endpoint, and then you fall. So I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Boo! Nobody's finished this game and posted it. Boo! <laughs> why? 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 What? What's happening, Pseudographics? Pseudographics says it's just the demo. Well, you the just one... have a demo? No, 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 no. The one we're watching was a demo. Oh yes. Maybe it's too close to Montezuma's Revenge. The original 48k version, which was never released, <laughs> was unfinishable. That's right. You could get to the end boss, but nothing happened. Coded everything it. but the emboss. That's okay. That's okay. None of the devs are in the channel. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is like, very. It's very late for them. Cheat. Yeah. It's very early Saturday yeah. morning for them, unfortunately. Well, we know where we got. Soda graphics is just a. Uh, <laughs> stay up yeah. really late. It's not there. Mm. This is not the cart, though. This is not the cart. It's not the game that came this on the... This is a digital download. Yeah. The but most updated digital download of the game. A know. full version. Then maybe we're missing something. Maybe you missed something on the way up and... Maybe they fixed you something that broke the it. game. I don't know. Maybe That's you possible. broke the game. I or maybe because you're cheating, it won't let you win. <laughs> That's possible. Maybe you can't hit the end screen. That's Because possible. you've cheated. Do you, have you heard anything about that, pseudographics, about cheating, but then you can't win if you cheat? I saw a video for version 1.7. It had a runtime of three hours. What? Oh. Did I miss it? Let's go back. minutes. Four minutes. One, four. So let's get rid of the full again. Let's 
do the filters over 20 minutes and then I'll reduce it down three hours thank you this is definitely the goal. nobody would play for three hours and then quit unless you're playing other games okay oh no you play for most of it game over no changing colors and then he gave up no he's just changing colors oh he turned it off Oh no, what level is that? Good eye though. Told you cheaters never win. Who knew I was right? level five. That's level five? Yeah. Oh, damn it. Yep, yeah, it is. We gave up. It is hard. Level five is very hard. Well, we'll have to figure it out and do it again. I told you cheaters never win. Who knew I was right? Yep. <laughs> But does he make it to the part where he falls? No. I don't. Does he? Oh, you gotta get Cause, him cause right to the end. He's made it to that part. Yeah, but well, he's getting there. I mean, you've been right back and forth through it, so... Yeah. No, I gave up. He was very close. He was. Mm. <sighs> Ooh, ooh, one month ago. This could be a full one. That's pretty long. Hamster. Guinea pig. Guinea pig. That looks very different. What is that door? He's, he's stuck in the door. <laughs> it's the C64 version. Oh. Pseudographics. No, C Pseudographics po posted. But it should be the same. Yeah, he didn't make it to the end, though. Well, you made it pretty much to the end. It looks like you made it through to the end of the level so five map. Yeah, it's just very strange. We're either missing something or, or maybe, maybe because you cheated. <laughs> the link I sent is, oh, complete playthrough. Well, thank you very much, Pseudographics. Oh, it's C64. Ah, you know, that's what I was missing. I wasn't thinking Atari is the only one. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh. That's the end? Yeah, and I cleared those doors. You cleared the first door, and there was no second door. He has one idol, and there's one idol door. I have two idols, and, and you that door's gone. And you opened one door, right? Yeah. And there was no idol second door. So he's about to finish. He went through that. And it just finishes there. Oh, so that is the end. Oh, we just never got that screen. So there's a bug. Okay, we finished. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. That it makes does. sense. That yeah. makes a lot more sense. Okay. But some something something is wrong. Something stopped it from from completing. Yeah. Because he cheated. Yeah, I found another bug. So <laughs> version 1.9 yeah, here we come. <laughs> um, that's why. Yeah. It fell. I'm amazed it doesn't crack. Yeah, because it's on it's on the um the map. It it's it like, fell through to the bottom screen. Yeah, and it's like I I could have fallen forever. I mean maybe if that it, if the map was a little different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, thank you, Pseudographics. Nice. That explains everything. Oh right. Well, I'm okay. glad to see that we finished it. <laughs> Even though we went back through it. I think I could finish it. Oh, with, in the lives allotted. With the lives allotted. A little practice. With a little bit more practice. Yeah. yeah. Because some of the level, we did the first couple levels properly. Pretty, pretty, yeah. And then I started cheating. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I think I could have done it. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know why th there's something going on and the devs can watch the replay because I opened the idle door, but Sama, I have two more idols. No, there was no idle door. There was a door was and a no gap. Was there no idle door? There was no idle door. Ever. No, it's I just don't, a door and a gap. I, if I'm not mistaken, we'll have to look at the footage. But still, but why do I, I have two I don't, idols? Yeah, and I don't know how you picked up two idols, but it was like there was a fake idol door there. Like, like there it was black. Black. It was a door, and it was black. Oh, and you went you know through what? the door, and then you fell through on the other side. Well, let's watch the replay. Just yeah, maybe because you had two idols, you didn't open a door that would have triggered the next idol door to be available that to you. Could be That's it. possible. Something funny was going on there. Yeah. 
Yeah. Let's just watch the replay and find where I first. Okay. Yeah, maybe if you have infinite lives, they remove the door. Exactly. Yes. Oh, um, that's oh it's it's ZPH Inception. It is. <laughs> and it doesn't oh, no. replay well. Oh, no. Can I not fast forward? Oh, yes. No, I can't. It looks... No? Inception. Oh, is it working? Over here. Over here. Nope, over there. <laughs> 28 minutes? Look at them. Yeah, it's about it looks right. so funny. 30. 52 minutes? No, it's not. No, it's not right. It's kind of fast forwarding. It's not fast forwarding. It's not fast forwarding. It's not fast forwarding. Oh, no. I blame the cats. They chewed up the door. Well, the devs can. Yeah, this is like fast forwarding very slowly. Mm -hmm. Spaceballs where they watch the video, <laughs> video tape, tape of Spaceballs. Space balls, exactly. I was able to fast forward in other... <laughs> now I want to watch Spaceballs. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. I haven't watched that show in a long time. Long time. Oh. Okay. So much for that. They can watch it. I, it was just for my <laughs> own can, uh, interest uh, of like, yeah. what did we see the first time we encountered those doors? Mm -hmm. Was there a missing door? Was there an idle door? Yes. And also, where did I get two idols from? That's you, you another did. question. You there I should only know. be one idol. I feel like the idol re rebirthed itself when you walked through that door. That could be it. Uh, that's, that's very strange. Anyway, it's nice to know you did get to the end. Because you went through. It could be a mistake with the cheat code. Maybe. Where it respawned the idol after I died. Because when you <laughs> die, it re it's supposed to get rid of everything. Right? And start you yeah. new on the level. When does this happen? Right now, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I haven't, I haven't watched that movie in a long time. So okay. Funny. So what's coming up on the show? Let's take a look. Um, thank you so much to the amazing developers of Tony for sending Ooh, yep. Monochrome Productions for sending this and Retronic. Fantastic. Sending this game. It is absolutely amazing game. Upside down and backwards. Try and make it look like a box. Beautiful, beautiful game. Um, if you love platformers, it's awesome. If you love Montezuma's Revenge, it's yes. awesome. Amazing graphics, amazing music, mm -hmm. great gameplay, mm -hmm. really, really creative. Mm -hmm. um, and as per usual, we find a bug. I don't That's know what, what do. the bug is, though. <laughs> yeah. But, but I'll leave that as an exercise well, yes. for the devs to figure yeah. out. Yeah. Um, I think it's because he's because he, of cheating. It anyway. might be. It, it might be. be a side effect yeah. of the cheating. No, no, no. You can only get to the end if you do it in the allotted number of lives. Uh, maybe. It's possible. It is absolutely it's possible. It's also possible that 1.8 in, introduced a bug when they're fixing something else. But... Um, so, we, I don't know about After Dark happening on Sunday. We have a very busy weekend. We do. I think I'm being too ambitious. I think you might be. Um, so but we probably, still need to do it. <laughs> so, we'll probably do the After Dark while we're doing the break, sometime in the break. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. yeah. But the next show is a big one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We had Sir J. On Tuesday, Tanya yes. will be here. We have yes. developer spotlight on... Lawrence Stavely yes. from Reboot. Mm -hmm. Cyrano J, the person who pretty much single-handedly kept the Jaguar alive all this time. There are other devs, but he does the most output of any Jaguar developer out there. Mm -hmm. We're so uh, happy to have him on the show next Tuesday. And we'll also have the exclusive world premiere of Last Strike DX. Mm -hmm. And also the exclusive final version of jumping at shadows, oh, I'm so excited. which we're going to be able to show off. Fantastic! It's unbelievable Fantastic game. game. Yeah. It's so so good. Last yeah. Strike DX is also so good. Yep. Tanya's going to be playing a ton of Jaguar yeah. games throughout the interview. Woo. Uh, we're going to be asking a bunch awesome. of questions. I'm going to be setting up a um, forum post so everybody out there can ask their questions mm. for Lawrence. Uh, your burning questions about the Jaguar. Yeah. Um, and of him and of Reboot and his games. It'll yeah. be a lot of fun. 
um, and we'll learn a lot about the Jaguar, I think. Are you excited, Sid? Sid is always excited, even yes. though he's rather sleepy right now. And I'll be able to upgrade my uh, ZX Spectrum in the break. So um, and then after the break, sometime in September, we're going to have a spotlight on Albert Uruso. Mm -hmm. Full show, just Albert. Okay. That's going to be great because um, we've had little snippets, but never a full Albert. Mm -hmm. Full episode of Albert. Full Albert. Yeah, yeah, there you go. We've never done the full Albert. Is there game volume? Oh. Let's use that as background. We'll turn it down a bit. Sorry. Didn't know the game was still running. Um, actually, I'm going to turn it up and then turn it off. There we go. There we Thanks, go. Thanks, Sorry, thank you, Vitoko. Yeah, somehow in this profile, the video game has music. Eh, interesting. Well, I have to swap the profile out. Man, why does it have music in this profile? Hmm. That's interesting. You did have um, an well, interesting... Does. Huh. I don't know why. Uh, you had a power outage today. Oh, 10 seconds of power outage today. Very strange. If you're spending time interviewing Al, you're delaying the games that I work on. <laughs> Nostalgic. <laughs> By two hours. Get with the program here. That's right. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, uh, Al just sent out an email mm. to all the last chance orders um, saying that he uh, gave me an update on him on the uh, games and uh actually we can we can take a look at that oh it's got it's a magnetic is it oh my the, god the, the lid to well. it is magnetic this is fantastic let me just switch away for a second i mean do you need the game to remain on this jump drive because it's pretty awesome <laughs> well to keep it as it is yeah i guess so so this was sent out yesterday. Oh, Greetings, it's, it's time for another Last Chance update. As it looks like the last one I sent out was about three months ago. I know there's been some criticism about not sending out frequent updates. So I'll be sending out an update once a month, as long as there is outstanding Last Chance orders. Just a four gig. Yeah, it does need to be big. Uh, we're now at the one year anniversary of the Last Chance sale, which began near, near the end of June of last year, ran for about four weeks. After looking at the numbers again, over 6,000 games were sold during this time. Mm. 6,000. Wow. Uh, more than I initially calculated. Wow. This twice is as many games. Twice as many games that would typically sell in the Atari Age wow. store over a two year period. Good on you, Al. I, I, when I read that sentence at first, I was like, that's a strange measurement twice as many in two years wouldn't that be as many in four years yeah or four times it's, it's as this, one year it's, it's what we would that what he would normally sell in four years but that's yeah or in four, four years four times as money as one year four times as much as Very one year yes two twice as many in two years uh, at, uh yeah you can make your own calculations as m most games i sell in the store built by hand building six thousand games is a gargantuan a task it is really amazing to see the response to the sale it really shows the strength of the community and how much love there is for new homebrew games. I know what you're thinking and know it's not going to take another year to get the remainder of these orders out. I'm spending more time working on these orders and I'll be using more 2600 and 7800 flashboards to get the remainder of, of the games built. Flashboards save me an enormous amount of time when building games. This is also part of my plan to greatly reduce how long it takes to sh typically ship orders in the store. With the goal of shipping 95% of orders in a week or less once these last chance games are shipped. That's very fast. Since the last update in April, I've shipped about 1,300 last chance games. Uh, I'm currently working on another batch of games comprising 133 orders, and those will be shipped by the end of the upcoming weekend. One plus two, two plus one. <laughs> I'll then begin working on the next batch of games. We'll continue the cycle. I'm also working on working through shipping pre-orders for the 2023 releases, and I'll be getting those out in parallel with shipping the last chance orders. So remember, there's also 2023 games that were released at PRG East that still are in the queue. Oh my goodness. So many games that are ordered. Please stop playing. <laughs> it's triggering my misophonia. Oh I'm my sorry. God. I like it. <laughs> it is cute. Um, the upcoming Portland Retro Gaming Expo it's will slow magic. things down a bit in the lead up to the show. More games coming! <laughs> but after the show, I'll be 100% focused on getting wave after wave of last chance orders out, and no new games will be added to the store till all the last chance orders are shipped. 
In other words, do you want new games? You better go to PRG. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's still the Pick case. Them up in person. That's still the case for 2023 games. If you weren't a PRGE, no. some people might have got them. So, oh, he's wow. got to get them shipped. That's a rough go for, yeah. for Al. Oh, that's a mountain of games. I'm working on getting some additional help to push these orders Good. over the finish line. If Good. I lived in Texas, I'd be helping Al. Yeah. Very far from Texas. Yeah. Should we take a one month vacation to Texas? He can ship build, stuff to us if games? he's got some Canadian people and we'll put them just, together for him. But uh, it would cost so much money. No. Oh, Canadian. You'd have yeah. to double ship them, though. That's the problem. Yeah, but it, ship them to us and then we'd have to ship them. Yes. That would cost Canadian it, shipping. It would be is a less lot. because it would be less volume. Do you know what I mean? Um, no. So yeah, the it, volume of it before small. their package it's is small. smaller, so potentially. The cost of shipping from U.S. to Canada is less than Canada to Canada for some reason. Yeah. You can get discounts, but they would get there quicker, so it depends. Like, yeah. Does he want them quicker or does he want them sent cheaper? I don't know. I don't even think that's an option. Mm. <laughs> that's all up for debate. Uh, if you have any questions, you can respond to this email. I will endeavor to respond in a reasonably prompt fashion. But remember, if you respond, it slows them down. <laughs> 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 if your address has changed since you placed the order, please let me know and I'll update it. Thank you and take care. So there is the email. Um, for those of you who have not read it or um, don't have it. Um, we're also going to talk with John Champo of Champ Games. Was that not on the screen or was it on the screen? It was before, yeah. You've already talked about... On their screen? Yes. Okay. Yes. I've been flipping back and forth. Can't yeah, remember. It's because the video game was music was playing the background of it. So, yeah. Mm. Mm, anyway yeah uh and we have a secret homebrew from champ games Yay. that will be before prg mm -hmm. uh, pretty soon ish we don't know al is a trooper he is providing us with amazing games yeah, for sure he's doing it all by himself but he's getting help soon he's posted and we also have a developer spotlight on Chris Walton. I don't know when that is, but there's two more. It's coming. Three more to do before that one. <laughs> so I'm go. not in a rush yeah. for that. Excellent. Um, so lots coming up in the show. Awesome. But we are taking a short break. Uh, uh, towards the end of August, right? Um, well, after this uh, interview. This last one. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Yep. So the first bit of August. Okay. Is a break. Okay. First um, bit of August. I'll be working on some programming. Yay. Uh, part of it might be a game, but most of it's not a game. It's something else, okay. but you will see it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be upgrading my ZX Spectrum so we can do a ZX Spectrum show. Yeah. Um, I'll also be upgrading the studio, the lights, and the camera will be mounted on the ceiling and the wall, so it'll be much cleaner. Mm -hmm. This room will look better for us. <laughs> it won't make any difference for you guys, but it'll make it better make for Make your us. life easier. Um... I'll be editing another show that I've oh, are you been gonna working get on. Today? Yes, okay. I have to. Okay. Otherwise, we're gonna have to film it all again the third the time. The third time, yeah. Which would be the worst thing in the world. It's pretty fun. Because <laughs> there are some issues, but I think I can work through the issues and edit it fine and nice. move on with it. Um, how many upgrades before you ZX Spectrum before it becomes a ship of theosis? Uh None. I'm only adding ship to it. I am not. Replacing the motherboard, not replacing the case, not replacing the keys. Just little, little, little additions. It's to fix, it's to make things look better and sound better. Okay. And it's only adding, so it will okay. not be a whole new ZX Spectrum. Yeah. People do that. <laughs> yeah. They get new cases. And then you can call it a ZX Spectrum, because uh, yes. if it's all American components, no. then... Oh, they, they all ship from the UK. There's nothing in North America or go. Canada to do with that machine. No. Everything's oh, I know. very expensive. But I'm takes saying forever. if you were somehow to switch all the components to American components, yeah. then I feel then, yes, you could call it a ZX Spectrum. Because I think they've made new motherboards Yes. that you can put your chips in. They've yeah. made new cases. Wow. They've made new keys. They've wow. made new membranes. Um, so everything except, and a lot of the chips can be replaced too, I think. Because they're all like drop-in chips, so I think you can almost make a completely new like ZX Spectrum. ZX Spectrum, mm. yeah. So you can almost make a ship of theosis. 
Theseus. Theseus? Theseus. Theseus? Theseus. Mm. It's not Theseus, because there's no U before the first S. Mm. Uh, so I've been pronouncing it wrong my whole life. Eh, you live and learn. Yeah. It's a problem when you only read things and never hear, hear them spoken. That's right. I have quite a few things that... <laughs> Um, yeah, so one more show before the break. Uh, but we'll do, like, After Darks, most likely. Yeah, we'll throw a couple in there. Yep, we'll do the After Dark for the 7800. And if, is... the, if we get this guy actually ringing a bell, oh, we'll, we'll get... definitely have a special show. Yeah, we'll get him practicing yeah. off-screen to ring the bell. He'll learn. He's yeah. just young. He's just a little baby. And he's he's just so distracted. He's distracted, and he's not as food motivated as other cats. Like you'll you'll he he's more interested in what Atari's eating than eating. Yeah. If that makes sense, so we have to get him. Yeah. He that's more okay. food motivated. I'm not put, I'm not putting pressure on this little guy. He's so we're gonna kid. skip a couple meals. No. <laughs> and he'll learn to ring the bell. No. No. He gets he's very a, well fed. He does. And he also eats Atari's food, too, so he gets <laughs> yes. more than well It's probably part of the problem, actually. It could be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe he'll ring the bell for catnip. Yeah. He does like Ooh. catnip. Yeah. So thanks for tuning in. Thank you, everyone, for joining on your Friday night. Oh, Double Down just got his arty yesterday. Oh, nice. ordered on December 29th, oh, 2023. Oh, in December. So wow. Okay, that was a bit of a bit of a, bit of a time, bit yeah. of time to get there. Yeah. So seven uh, and a half, seven months, yeah. Okay. Um, nostalgia, Gamma Dev, Double Down, Pseudo Graphics. It's Thank okay. you, Pseudo Graphics, for helping us with the game or making helping make the game and yes. also sending that video in so that we can rest easy that we completed the game yeah. with a little cheating. With a little cheating. Uh, uh, Render Ghost. Ghost. Yeah. Uh, Anthony Nelms. Anthony Nelms. You Jazz. Dan. Chelsea Donnie Mao, uh, Crunchy the Clown. Oh, you're getting them before me. Uh, ITC. Carl G. <laughs> uh, and that's and Dan. everybody else yep. who is lurking. So if you like that game, go out and buy it. Yeah, awesome. Many game. options. So good. Box, so good. digital, many different boxes. Yes. Yeah, it's really great. It's really and good game. I have found the bug and I'm sure they'll fix it very soon. Yeah. <laughs> found a bug. I don't if know. If it is a bug. It may not be on your version. Yeah. may not even be a bug. Maybe it's my system. Or maybe, maybe it's what you're cheating is maybe what it's I'm saying. I'm well, that'd be weird. Why not? It should say you can't finish the game if you're cheating. Yeah, but you never get that final idle door, right? So uh, yeah, it's possible. It anyway, it's possible. Whatever. Yeah, we'll find out. I'll be yeah. messaging the devs. Yeah. Uh, to let them know yep. of the issue. Um, thanks for tuning in. And uh, we're going to run our 5K this weekend. Oh, yes. And fail Sunday? miserably. Yes, it will it's be terrible. It's supposed to be very cloudy. And, um, oh, thank goodness. And cool. Good. So we're not going to keel over and die. Okay, good. Which is very good. Yeah, it's I'm glad Sunday. to hear that. All right. Um, and that's it. So right. have a great weekend. Yeah. And uh, make sure you tune on on Tuesday for the last show before the break. Yeah. Okay, bye, bye. everyone. Bye-bye.